I will refresh YouTube to pull up the stream. Even though you should be screen sharing. <laughs> Shut up. You have to give me more than like 20 seconds. Even though I've had multiple minutes. Discord. <clears throat> there we go. Welcome to Tree Pick, but how you doing? Boop. <clears throat> but no boop the mousy. The mousy will will suffer pain. Oh, actually, I need to close Steam. I, oh. I forget. Well, yeah, because otherwise it. Whenever I push a button, it brings up the fucking keyboard. Alright, so... Eh. There we go. You are safe for now, Enigma. Damn it! So last time, I got sucked real good by like 50 dudes. Because I had no idea that you could get comboed by the fucking re-deads. You're also safe for now, Pikmin. <clears throat> but now we have my, to go my, all the, hmm? my brain processed comboed as comboed. <laughs> I mean, that works too, technically. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, Mousy? <laughs> What the fuck, Mouthy? You're the one who came up with it. <laughs> no, I know, but, like, when my brain processed what you said yeah. incorrectly... You just expect me to be a degenerate. <laughs> yes. How, how could you do this? I invite you to come on my stream and <laughs> you do this to me. <laughs> I'm a terrible friend. <laughs> uh, now I'm just remembering, um... Uh, what was it? Um, Game Changer. That's the name of the show. I didn't do and um, where they weren't allowed to curse, uh -huh. but cum was okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, so they were just using that. Fair. No, I know, but it's it, okay. So the the actual <laughs> prompt was to be like PG. Oh, I I saw that one. Yeah. Yeah, it was to be PG. Like, but oh, you they were just like, okay. But like when explaining the prompt, it was just like, okay, so we have a swear jar. Every time you swear, your points are going in here. Mm -hmm. But the prompt was to be PG. Yeah. But they were still allowed to say come. I don't know. It was weird. Oh, if the youth swore, it's like, damn, or like, fuck. And they're like, well, there's another one. <laughs> It, it got to a point where there where the contestants were just like, I don't give a shit. I Take only saw, points. like, I don't a, care. one of the 30-second clips or whatever from YouTube. Mostly because I don't want to pay to watch that show. It seems fun, but, like, you don't have the extra money. Even yeah, though it's only, like, like, $5 a month. Yeah, it's, like, 5 or $6 a month. So I am subscribed, I think, still, unless I canceled it. But Wait a second. We're back. I thought I just heard someone knock on my door. And that's not normal. Death must die. What is this? Oh, this looks like a Hades themed survivor game. False alarm. I was mistaken. I can't hear you. Now I can hear you. Okay. I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I came across a game called Death Must Die. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, okay, what is this? I'm like, oh, this reminds me of what I've seen of Hades, but as a survivor game. Interesting. I'm like, no. Also, can we not get a link up skirt today? 
What if I back? I it think it's right? just the cam. I think it's just the way that particular event is scripted. Aha! Doing a backflip on it makes it not do it. Okay. Oh, no. <clears throat> All right. Well, I found a demo for a game. Let me look up Craft Elf. What is it? Um, you know, I already forgot what the game was called. <laughs> it's, oh, Slice and Dice. Oh. Uh. Um, but now I'm just looking up like crafting games. But... Minecraft. No, not that kind of crafting. Infinite craft. Do I have that? Oh no, I have Infinite Factory or Infinite Isn't it? Something. I'm pretty sure Infinite Craft is a browser-based game anyway. Oh uh, well, browser-based games have been ported to Steam, so. Yeah, like wasn't the Binding of Isaac a browser-based yep. game? Yep. Yeah, it was originally a Flash game, and then it got so popular that they like ported it. <laughs> nice. Also, hello everybody, be sure to leave a like or mousey will find me. Don't worry YouTube, that's not a threat. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, don't worry guys, it's not a threat. Do I look like Sniper Wolf? <laughs> You heard about the whole situation, right? No. Oh, there was someone who criticized her videos. And so she fucking went out of her way, found his house, and showed up outside of his house one day. Right. I think you did tell me about that. And yeah. She posted his actual address. On her Instagram with like five million followers or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did tell me about that. And guess what punishment she got? That's right. No, she didn't. I was gonna say either nothing or like a two-day something, like a two-day ban. Book of hours. What? Mm. So many of these games just look like mobile games. That's another thing. A lot of mobile games have been ported to Steam and it sucks. Yeah, and then it's like, it's a free mobile game that then you have to pay for on Steam and then has microtransactions. Yep. Like, um, I think I actually just saw one. Uh... I went the wrong way. Oh, uh, but it might have been when I was looking at, uh, the other category. Oh, oh, My Little Universe. Interesting. My Little Universe. I actually had it. I I used to play that on mobile, and um, it was free. <laughs> but now it's like fifteen bucks on Steam. That's a rip off. Oh, uh -huh. no, I don't think I've ever played a mobile game. I just don't like playing games on my phone. Although I don't like I mean, handheld like, I gaming that much either. I mainly just do mobile games because I know how my friends are, um, and when we're playing games like Magic or D and D, and we and they get distracted a lot, and it goes on for like twenty or thirty minutes. Um, it's also just good to have when at work and on lunch. Yeah. And nothing else to do. That's why you bring your Switch. Yeah, except I've been really bad about keeping that charge. I've been meaning to. Uh, set up the dock on my desk, and I just haven't. <laughs> Mine is on my computer. No, I've been meaning to, like, put it next to my computer and all of this. Oh, no, I know. I'm just saying that my dock, like, my computer's laying down, and it's on my laying down computer. Oh, oh, oh. Hello? Oh. It's interesting how they gave the Dodongos two weaknesses, though. The tail and the bombs. Yeah. But anyway, Masso Quest. I can't see OBS. <laughs> Masso Fun. Quest. Pain. <clears throat> Kinky. Always pain. 
But pain is good for the soul. Because pain is weakness leaving the body. Excuse me. Yes. But how's everyone doing today? Oh, I hate every time I get to this room. I always say how much I hate it. <laughs> well, in that case, let me give you a laugh. I read Stranded Deep as Stranded Derp. What is Stranded Deep? Oh, it's a game. Yeah, it's a game. Open world survival craft, multiplayer. Uh, just one, yeah, one of those like first-person survival games that is like plaguing the market now. Fair. Because like there's Green Hell, shit like that. I'm not like saying that they're green. bad, just. Yeah, it's supposed to be, like, really difficult. Nice. Um, so, not saying that they're bad, just they're not my kind of game. I just see way too many of them on my suggested feed. The only one that I really <laughs> know about is Raft. And yeah, it's kind of like that, but you're just stuck on one island. Instead of traveling through the ocean. I should make my own survival game, except it's called Mousy Craft, and if you piss off Mousy, you automatically die. How do you piss off Mousy? Yes. <laughs> How do you piss off Mousy? Uh, oh, it's just a game of Simon Says. Exactly, except even sometimes Mousy will still fuck you up, because fuck you. <laughs> Simon Says no, it's a game Blue of... does blue. I hate the color blue. Fuck you dies anyway. <laughs> I was gonna say you you interpreted does wrong. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I don't know. Like it just you you give a command, but you but the person interpreted the command wrong. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Simon says eat this it. block of cheese right here. Eat the cheese. No, I I I meant the one over there. Fuck you. <laughs> Basically, there's no way to win. Yeah. Exactly. What kind of stream are you, my hey, doing? So, Yuma, that, uh, fucking, uh, strawberry Netflix that I bought, that thing was $3 for 14 ounces of, of, of milk. That's what we call in the industry a scam. Yes. Would you ever have? Would you ever have a pet spider? Uh, yeah, I actually would. But, but would you let it crawl on you if you knew it wouldn't bite you? If I knew it wouldn't bite me, yeah. If I knew it was, for me, it's with uh, like certain animals and bugs and whatnot. If I know it's there. Then, and I know it's not going to harm me in any way. Yeah, like snakes, reptiles, things like that. Absolutely. Yeah. What about a pet lizard? Um, are you sure that would be a pet? Because they seem kind of sentient. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're sentient, but they're also, like, look at their eyes. They have not had a single thought since, like, 1985. 19, 19, 1985. <laughs> <laughs> he gets very derpy. <clears throat> oh, before I do anything... Uh-huh. I always forget about that <laughs> bat. That was weird. What was weird? No, I'm playing the slice and dice game and one of the dice was uh whatchamacallit, not fully like didn't fully roll, it was stuck on its side.
Have you tried playing a game that doesn't involve dice? Like Dungeons and Dragons! No dice at all. I mean, Dungeons and Dragons could theoretically just not use dice if you really wanted to. Use flashcards instead. I've seen um, suggestions of using tarot cards or using cards against humanity. Um, A friend of mine tried to create her own system using playing cards, but it was just so complicated. Yeah. And we weren't, like, I don't know if we weren't understanding what she was trying to say, or she was just explaining it horribly. But she ended up giving up. Yes. <laughs> she ended up just giving up on the system. Um, and, but it was like, oh, if you draw... Like, if you draw a number, then that signifies, like, how well it works, but, and the, the suit, you get to assign basically four actions to the different suits, or something, and we're just, but, I don't know. I don't really remember exactly what she was saying about it. That just sounds overly complicated. <laughs> it kind of was. <clears throat> but, like, it was fine, like, because if you wanted to be like, your character is good at these four things... But I think when we were trying to be like, okay, so this is what you mean, yes, she would just go on to try and explain it again, and instead of just being like, uh, yes or no. Uh... But we just got very confused. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, I just heard something really strange. Oh? When the bombs were, were going off, I heard a sound of something hitting something invincible. The bombs actually hit the the skeleton up here, the the sculptula, and it didn't actually kill it because it was facing the front. <laughs> Weird. <clears throat> oh, wait, this dungeon I've gone through so many times now in Master Quest. I just turned my brain off for it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try to get him stuck again. You do that. Damn. <clears throat> Ow! Oh god, uh... Do I have any milk? <laughs> I'm actually in danger of dying to the little foes. Rip. But look at those eyes, they're so derpy. Yes. Oh my god, I can't target him. Why am I struggling? <laughs> I don't is, know. Is it because I said I, I just go in, in no brain mode here? Yes. That is exactly why. <clears throat> okay. Let me grab the secret lava waterfall heart. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling slice and dice. It's, I don't know if it's because it's the tutorial, but it just seems very slow and not fun. Fair. If I had any game to recommend, I would, but I don't. Yeah. Oh my god, I fucking like, it's hate it's definitely these interesting, but I don't know. I think maybe maybe it's because the animation of the dice 
kind of takes up time unnecessarily, un unneeded, or, you know what, maybe I should go into settings and see if I can. Like, speed it up? Uh, option. Or just, like, bypass the actual uh, animation of it. Yeah. Okay, we have the bombs. Side spinning dice. <clears throat> but how you doing today, Enigma? Oh, I'm doing all right. I'm at. You know what? I'm. I actually don't feel tired for once. Wow. Oh, did you probably think because I actually fucking slept in. I. What time did I go to bed? Like ten. About that, and you slept for like eleven hours almost. I slept for like thirteen. Oh. Oh, right, because 12 is... My brain is working today. Yeah, is it, though? Unfortunately, it's working overtime, and it's still not not working. How do I... Options? How do I go back to the game? I'm okay, that's go. good. <laughs> Excuse me. Zoom tight? Thank you. Did I still take damage? He's supposed to be able to time that perfectly and not take any fall damage. I did. That's bullshit. Mm -hmm. I landed like the same, like, a frame or two before the cutscene actually started. <clears throat> um, yeah, all those suck. By the way, guys, um, streams are probably going to be starting up again at 10 a.m. Uh, my plan right now is to do a stream at 10 a.m. <clears throat> uh, like one of what my normal streams used to be. And then if I'm feeling it in the evening at around 5 or 6, I'll do, like, Nier Automata or Final Fantasy XIV or Art or something. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> something more casual. Ah, uh, yes, the Nier Automata is super casual. I mean, it can be. But I'm not good at that game. <laughs> Neither am I. Or at least I'm not good enough for the challenge I'm doing. Yeah. <sighs> you didn't have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Mousy cannot <laughs> tell a lie. Um, <clears throat> they all exploded. Except for one. Hello, Foxy. Hey, Foxy. How you doing? Wait, don't? Okay, I thought he was going to hit the switch again, and then I'd be stuck here forever. Well, not forever, until I hit the bombs again. Yeah. But how you doing, Foxy? You ready to watch me fuck a giant monster dragon thing? What is King Dodongo? Um, well, let's see. Does he breathe fire? I don't remember. Yes, he does. Only if you let him charge up his, his fire breath, though, and don't throw right. it in his mouth. Right, but so he breathes fire. No. But he breathes fire. Yeah. So I I would say he would count as a dragon. Do you count as a dragon? Do I count as a dragon? I don't breathe fire. <clears throat> Damn. So the commission. I don't want to take it or let it go this time. Never pass up a commission. Never pass up a commission if it's not gonna fucking destroy your workload. Cause you've been completely bogged down by everything recently. 
Like, sometimes, and I know that not having enough money sucks, but sometimes your mental health is better than having more money. <laughs> yeah. Throw! Thank you. <clears throat> but I see so many artists have, like, like, five out of five open commission slots. I would do something like that, and once it's full, tell people, like, oh, I'm not taking, I'm taking commissions right now, but I can message you when I am again, and then do that. <clears throat> yes. Well, you don't take more than one house at a time because you can't physically be at more than one house at a time. That's kind of different. So who here thinks Mousy can beat this game today? Thank you all for the vote of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'm the only one that would have been able to like respond immediately. I know, but I was expecting you to. <laughs> well, based on your track record. Um... Okay, to be fair, fuck you. Honestly, here, here's, here's how it's going to have to be. Just don't say that a fight is free, or that you're not gonna die in a dungeon. <laughs> and you should be fine! Oh man, getting the great fairy up here and riding the pedowile down the mountain is totally free, guys! Wait, what the fuck? No! There's no way! What? What, what did I miss? I accidentally perfectly sniped a bomb and hit this from on top. Oh my god. <laughs> I That's have hysterical. God here That's and also shit aim. <clears throat> um. God damn it, Link. Both a jump. I should go see the cow and get more milk. <clears throat> but I hope I'm having a good day so far. Nice. Also, guys, I unlocked the job that I wanted from the start in Final Fantasy XIV. The yes. dancer job. And it's fun. <laughs> <clears throat> Just suck. It doesn't have a damage over time attack like literally every other job does. Which is still really strange to me. I hit a wrong button. Oh, God! Why did I say it was free? <laughs> I swear to God. I told you, don't say that, and you'll be able to, uh... You'll be able to beat the game today. But I just had to tempt fate, and fate was like, fuck you, Mousy. Well, whose fault is that? Mousy's fault. <laughs> exactly. But I will never learn my lesson. Apparently. Because Matthew doesn't know how to read. Or listen. <clears throat> Make it. But hey, I did not forget the Great Fairy this time. Hello, here. Hey, here. How you doing? <clears throat> so, fun fact, did you know that Kaporage Bora is Rauru? Yes. Cool. I didn't know where I was going with that. Okay. 
You're fine, if Is everything okay? <clears throat> eh. My back was itchy. <laughs> I'm gonna say I should go grab a Pona, but that's in Majora's Mask. <laughs> we can grab a Pona as a child. But like, that's something that's gonna be fun. Won't mm -hmm. I have to do the entire Romani quest in order to get a Pona? Yes, but I think you only need to do it once. Yeah, but every time I have to go back and redo it, though. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. I think you only need to do it once. Ever. Well, let me double check. I mean, unless I die. Oh, I'm, oh my god. <laughs> I was thinking per reset. Oh my god, or, or per time reset. Kind of job I, Jesus. Every Dragon Ball character essentially named it after food. Yep. <clears throat> Vegeta is literally vegetable. Goku is... Goku is actually the Monkey King in A Journey West, which is a Chinese fable. Uh, Nappa is, is, is a type of radish. Raditz is something. Gohan is literally rice. Uh, Piccolo um. is pickle. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Piccolo is... Ba that race is based off of instruments. Oh, right. Piccolo, drum, drum, tambourine. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, and no, you don't have to do the entire Romani quest for... But I Pona. do have to do the entire Romani quest to get Chateau Romani, which is going to be very helpful for... Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, however, <clears throat> I did find a way that I could beat Majora easily, because I did math... I don't know if it was you that I did the math with, or someone else. Um, but essentially, I was considering getting every single mask every single time just to have the Fierce Deities mask. Yeah. The Great Fairy Sword does the same damage as the Fierce Deities Sword. Ah. Um, Majora's Mask has 14 hit points, meaning it'll take four hits to kill. Mm -hmm. Majora's Incarnation has 30 hit points, meaning it'll take eight hits to kill. And Majora's Wrath has 40 HP, meaning it'll take 10 hits to kill. I only need to hit it like, what, 20 times and then I win? That's not too bad. Mm -hmm. That's like, shut up! That's like doable. I don't know why yeah. I talked to him. <clears throat> but Dragon Ball is one of those shows that I'll never understand the popularity of. Me neither. Like, it's literally two muscly, greased up dudes screaming at each other for 20 episodes before throwing a single punch and one of them just fucking explodes. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> I will say, I do like Frieza, though. Frieza's cool. You know what? I don't need to drink my, my milk. I can go get Rudo's letter and just use that on the king and then come grab the fish. No, then the popularity, it is literally it. What do you mean, it is literally it? It is literally what? <laughs> Just be strong, beat ass. Yeah, and that's, that's boring to me. I don't understand mm -hmm. why that's a popular thing. Especially since, like, I know in the beginning of the series, it's like, oh, Goku thinks he's weak. He has to beat enemies with fucking, like, 9,000 power or something, and it's like, oh, now he's a literal fucking god with trillions of power, and it's like, what's the point anymore? He's a literal god. It doesn't, nothing matters anymore. <clears throat> what's up? 
Like, if it would have ended with the Cell games, I think it would have been good. Yeah. 50 million power and rise of clan! <laughs> yes. Oh, while I'm here, I should go see Pierre. Pierre? No thanks, I'll pee water. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna remember that. Oh god, what did I do? Is there a way to reset it? Uh... I think so. Yeah, I think if you talk to him again, it should reset. <laughs> you can't! What?! <laughs> it goes by so fast! Oh no! It looks like it's up, down, up, left, down, down left, left, down, left, down. Okay. Let's fix it, though. Yes. No oh my god, stop! I want to push the button to play the ocarina! There we go. Stick. That was so funny. <laughs> I was terrified. I'm like, what do I do? It is warm in my house right now. Here, turn on my fan. <clears throat> um, by the way. My chair was supposed to be here tomorrow, but now it'll be here today. <laughs> All and, right. it's, and it's pink and white because the black and red one was out of stock. <laughs> but it'll look good with the blood of my enemies or the blood of my Link. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I forget. Pia, have you played any Zelda game? I forgot to start up the Mweep thing again. Oh, well. Mweep. Mweep. It's not that important. Thy biggest enemy is thyself. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. And spiders. And the dark. And lions. And bears. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. It is nothing like any other Zelda game. <clears throat> Did Enigma get Spectrum? Nope. Okay. Kind of zoned out for a second. Sorry. The fear is the mind killer. <laughs> Always remember that the dark you are is the scariest creature. Yes, because everyone must fear the mousy. Mm. Yeah, I think once I get past the setup and fucking the uh, battle of the well, I'm just gonna uh -huh. skip that from now on. Okay. Cause I mean, the first like three hours of every math question is literally the same. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I need my other shield. <clears throat> also, when you said fear is the mind killer, it made me think of fucking Chris Angel. <laughs> you, you, you remember him, right, Enigma? Yeah. The mind freak? Yep. Everything he did was completely fake. I mean, oh, it is yeah, magic, yeah. but like, even the stuff he claimed wasn't. It was all completely fabricated. Yeah, of course. But magic is cool. Sure. 
You don't like magic? Like, it, to a degree. But... I don't know. When I, I remember there was one clip from Chris Angel that I was watching, and you could literally see the difference in, in the movement of a cloud in the background. What? But here's what you so, need like, to remember, people are dumb. <laughs> no, I know. But... I don't think it would have been that difficult to just edit the cloud out of the, out of the two shots. Yeah... That's all. Wait, hello? Did you see that? No. I think Let I me... just glitched the game a little bit. I was diving I down and I took my shield out underwater while swimming. Interesting. Let's try to do that again, because that was really weird. Yeah, I cannot do it again. Oh well. I forget, they want you to play Final Fantasy XIV and join the Cult of Mousy. It will make your life complete. Why the fuck was that so loud? Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> but yes, come join oh the Cult God. of Mousy. Oh my God. What? I was like, but yes, come join the Cult of Mousy. Yeah. We need more members. And if you give all of your money and pledge your allegiance to the Cult of Mousy, we can in fact get a, a house. Send dudes. No. Send cheese. What was I even targeting? Because I was not targeting the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm getting better at that at least. Hey, babe. <clears throat> Damn. Ow. <laughs> ah, yeah, Princess Rudo's thick ass just killed a fucking... a jellyfish. Wait, fun fact about jellyfish. They are fish, but mm -hmm. they're not made of jelly. Correct. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Send dudes. Are they made of jello? Totally. Welcome to Stream Crit. How you doing? My jellyfish, they pretend to be jellyfish <laughs> to evade taxes. <laughs> yes. That's amazing. Really, I can't hit these guys with a slingshot while they're in the water? Can I nut on them, though? Because I would try to... I, I would like to avoid going down there, because it's just time-consuming to get back up, and I hate it. Yes. Ugh. <laughs> Can on anything and anyone, but sometimes only once. Ah, uh, you cannot not on anyone. <laughs> At least not morally or legally. <laughs> <clears throat> it's 
the last nut. <laughs> yes. I didn't, have a, I didn't have to touch the water once. It, although it's not water, is it? It's technically stomach acid, no? Technically? I don't, you know what? Now that you mention it, I don't know why you don't get damaged. Why? No, if it's stomach acid. Oh. Uh, I mean, I guess for gameplay reasons, but like... Because Link is an acidic bitch. Or because Link is a basic bitch. <laughs> because plot armor, yes. Because <clears throat> fun fact, you know hydrochloric acid? That's the same stuff as in your stomach. Mm-hmm. Well, it goes does by not the... taste good. Hmm? It does not taste good. <laughs> Why would you taste stomach acid? Vomit. Wait, you think vomit tastes bad? What the fuck is wrong with you? It's fucking delicious. <laughs> no, when I'm like dry, like when I don't have anything in my stomach and my body's like, you're gonna vomit now. Yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I guess. So like, <laughs> there are a few like fetishes that I will never and don't want to understand. One of them is, is scat porn. I, why? And the other one is vomit. Like I just, I don't judge people. I just don't understand. Yeah. Want to hear about this, this interesting video I found one time? Not particularly. Well, you know what? It sucks to be. <laughs> it's not super, I mean, it's bad, but it's not like porn or anything. Right. Um, just this innocent video of this dude going home and sitting down to his girlfriend who made him a salad, and it's nice, and he sits down, and he takes a bite, and the, these two, it, it's a Japanese couple. <clears throat> okay. And it's like, he doesn't like the salad. So she seems to get upset, goes over the salad, shoves her fist down her throat, pukes in the salad, and then he starts eating it, and it's like, who thinks of this? The Japanese. Yeah. Oh, hello again. <clears throat> but again, not judging anyone, it's just uncomfortable. Yeah. I, I didn't push a button! Why bomb? Oh, right at this room. Your stomach have the same... Have the slime. Protect the stomach from the acid. Yes, although that can still be destroyed. Yep. Pretty easily, too, actually. Yep. Easy. You've got to learn the timing for these guys, and they're the easiest enemies in the game. Yep. giant pimple and a man who was just eating and chilling and the man was eating starts to get mad because pimple dude aren't doing something. What? Let's go this one. Revealed he wanted to get the look from the pimple. All right. <clears throat> Gross. And this is why humanity was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> God is dead, and we have killed him. Yes. Um. <clears throat> no amount of whiskey or therapy can help that. 
Yeah. Another fetish I'll never understand, which is honestly a really popular one, is, um... Like... Sadomasochism? Like, apparently, sadomasochists, like, feel pain in the same way they feel pleasure or something, and it's like... Interesting. That is not me. <laughs> But that does beg the question. Does that mean if they're like jogging and they trip and break and, and break their wrist? Does that mean they're like gonna come? <clears throat> Cinematium is, is I wouldn't say it's standard, but it's it's very common and it's I don't get it. <laughs> I don't like pain. I want to avoid pain. Yeah. Not the humiliated and stuff? No, that's something different. Sadomasculum is literally pain. Is there a training example? I think you're thinking of like master and slave. But there's a difference. Master and slave is like being humiliated, sadomasochism is literally putting yourself or others in pain for pleasure. I wonder if it's actually possible to, like, get up on the platform. I don't know. <clears throat> what is an octopus? God, you're dumb. Octopuses don't have shells. Oh my god, this is peak... Uh, peak... Human. <laughs> yes. You know, I'm just gonna go around this, I don't care. There is a really easy way to get this guy to turn around, though, and it's literally just take a hit. Yep. <laughs> oh, perfect. Huh? I shoved my stick so deep in his ass, he died! Oh, I got the infinite sword! The infinite stick glitch, too. Nice! Unfortunately, I can't keep it. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know how that worked, but I know some people can, like... Rocket. Put my hands so deep in his ass that I could feel the heart. Yes! And the white square is back again, by the way. Damn. Maybe you just need to get a different emulator for this. <laughs> you think? It's just annoying. news you saw once? Oh. Was it Mr. Hands? <laughs> you know about Mr. Hands, right, Enigma? What? Who? Mr. Mr. Hands? No. Oh. 24 is still doing his ass and I'm touching his heart. King? So Mr. Hands was hello. Mr. Hands was a guy. I say was because he's now dead. Right. He really liked horses. <laughs> and so him and his friend went to a horse farm and got Mr. Hands fucked by a stallion. And it ruptured his pancreas and he died. <laughs> okay. There's video footage. I have been one of the very unlucky few to have seen said video footage.
people just 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 people people equal shit yes <clears throat> Let's go beat up Baronade. Let's go kick his ass! <clears throat> no, he will take care of themselves. The problem is they don't, though. Uh, it's called the Darwin Awards. Yeah. I know plenty of people who I wish would would win one. <laughs> as long as it's not as long as none of them are me. As long as what? <laughs> the people that would win that you want to win a Darwin Award. As long as none of them are me. Oh, they're not. The joke. I didn't uh, understand uh, uh. you. Oh, okay. Hello? Uh. I love nodding on this guy. Ow! Ow! I would Enigma win a Darwin Award anyway? His name is not Darwin. Haha! A Darwin Award is when you take yourself out of the gene pool in an interesting way. Yep. There was an honorary Darwin Award at one point where <clears throat> the guy didn't die, which is why it's honorary, <laughs> but he absolutely should have. Oh. Him and his friend were trying to catch a squirrel in their yard, and it ran down a little pipe, like okay. a, a PVC pipe. So right. I'm going to lower my game a little bit. It is very loud for me. Who is messaging me? Uh... Alright, let me see. Wavelink... There we go. What was I saying now? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh, right. The, the Honorary Darwin, Darwin Award. Oh, they, yes. They crawled inside this PVC pipe, and they... Use like aerosol spray to spray it into mm -hmm. it to try to get it out. Didn't work. So one of the guys decided to crawl in to the pipe to try to get it. But he couldn't see because it was dark. So he took out his lighter <laughs> and lit it. His eyebrows, he, he had burns on like 90 something percent of his body. The squirrel was fired out. The other side, like a cannon, found like 500 yards away. Okay. <laughs> Poor squirrel. Yep. I just always found that to be hysterical. Yes. Was this in Florida? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's just say yes. <laughs> Gonna launch first squirrel to the moon. Yes. When I was younger, I wanted to go to the moon. I just wanted to go to space, because I've always loved space. But I can't. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm too tall. Oh. And that's not a joke. If you are over six feet tall, then it'll have lasting effects on your bones, and they think that it might actually do harm. Fair. And I'm six foot three. <laughs> oh, 
But uh, they are starting commercial flights to space now. Nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I would sign up, but I don't have the fucking quarter of a million dollars. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> how tall you are then? Uh, how many centimeters are you? Who is messaging me and why? You're 200 Wait. centimeters. You are very tall then. 20 centimeters <laughs> would be like. Like six foot five? Two point five four centimeters. It's thirty centimeters per foot. Six seven, yeah. <clears throat> On some site. Yeah, all I gotta do is is divide centimeters by two point five four. Yep. I learned that in high school because I had to take CAD. Well, I didn't have to, but I took CAD. We had to do everything in millimeters and centimeters. So I learned the metric system, and it is legitimately easier than the English system. Yep. <laughs> People in the U.S. are just dumb. You know, fucking... I think it was Andrew Carter? Ashley signed a bill that the U.S. would adopt the metric system, but people mm -hmm. didn't understand it, and so they reversed it. Which is fucking stupid. What? You you want to go one kil? How many meters in a kilometer? If kilo means thousand, I don't fucking know. Is it seven? <laughs> Like, literally the only thing that still uses Imperial is the American people. The government uses the metric system. Because yeah. they have to. <laughs> but people are just dumb and... I don't know if it's they don't want to learn or they literally don't understand it. Because it's not difficult to understand. Really not. The only part that would be tough at first <clears throat> is mm. figuring out how far something is from miles to kilometers. Which again, you can just Google search. They're afraid of change. Yeah. No, I think they just want to be different. Because in America, if you say something un-American or something that's not in America, you're automatically labeled a terrorist. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, you want to hear the most brain dead fucking thing ever, Enigma? Sure. Elon Musk posted on Twitter that the U.S. shouldn't allow immigrants to come to the country. Let that sink in for a second, and tell me why that's that's not okay. Because that's literally how America was founded. No. Because Elon Musk is from South America. <laughs> or South also Africa. That. Also that. Hmm. Dumb Twitter. Yes. Yeah, Listen, like... I don't give a shit about Elon Musk's personal life. Oh, yeah. No one should. <laughs> He's a douchebag. But because he has money, people simp for him and want his babies or something. Even though he names his babies strange-ass fucking names. Yeah. They're literally unpronounceable. I just never understand people sucking up to billionaires. Thinking that the billionaires yeah. are going to give them money. If yeah. they wanted to give people money, they would have donated it to charity. <clears throat> mm. 
But speaking of, uh, some, some woman in New York, um, someone in her family mm -hmm. died and she won like two billion dollars. Well, not one, but she was given two, two billion dollars that was left to her. Yeah. She donated every penny to the Einstein College in, in New York City, and as, and they now have free tuition for everyone. Yeah, I, I think I remember hear, uh, reading that, yeah. That's really cool. <clears throat> um, okay, it would only take, like... A few billion dollars to literally end world hunger for good. But people just don't care. Yep. One thing I'll give someone credit to is Bill Gates. Last I heard, he was working with a company to... He saw plans for this? They have plans for it, they just don't have the funding. And no one will donate the money because it takes, like, $20 billion or something. Um, I know that Bill Gates is working on something that can turn urine, feces, and salt water into drinkable fresh water. For countries that don't have fresh water. Right. And I think that's a great idea. Yes. <clears throat> I don't know why it took us so long to get to a point where we're working on shit like that, but it's, at least we're there. It's not even that difficult to make fresh water from salt water. Like, literally, all you have to do is put it into a pot and boil it and put something over it to catch the water. Better late than never. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and I saw a thing today that New York City in Manhattan is going to start, I think, charging people $15 to enter the city to help, to help cut down on traffic. Which place? Manhattan. Oh, fuck. But you're not in well, Manhattan. <laughs> no, but if I wanted to travel... Fair. I'll, ha I'll have to look more into it and send you a link to the story. Because, I mean, there's already toll bridges. Why? So they said to cut down on traffic. So, and I don't think they have meaning in a macro scale. No, they do mean in a macro scale. They have a plan to end world hunger on a macro scale. <clears throat> Oh, you don't think that money had meaning in macro scale. If that was the point, or if that was the case, then billionaires wouldn't care about giving up some of their money. Yeah. <clears throat> so I love how they said that, uh... What's his face? Jeff Bezos. So how come nothing on these ones does not bring them back like it does with the poster. They're saying that I don't know. Jeff Bezos is going to be the first, the world's first trillionaire within the next like three years or something. Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure Julius Caesar had a net worth of like 3.2 trillion dollars. <laughs> and then there's what is it? Mensa Musa? You've heard of him, right? Who? Mon Monsa Munsa. No, uh, if I did, I forgot. Oh. He was kind of, sort of a warlord, but also not. He was in one of the African countries near, like, the Egyptian Delta. Yeah. Um, actually, it might have been... Mm, I forget exactly where it was. He had so much money that, or so much gold, that he actually traveled along a road 
to Egypt and gave every single tiny village he stopped at multiple millions of dollars in gold. I think they said his estimated net worth is something like $50 trillion or something. He was the richest man to ever live, and whoever will live. <laughs> yeah. There's not even that much money in the world anymore, I don't think. Well, there is, but... Not like physical money. This was all physical. Yeah. shop here this game that i tried out is okay i just it's definitely a mobile game that's for fucking sure damn and i assume not a good mobile game it's okay there's just a lot of tutorials and then there's you know the purchasable in-game currency yeah all oh, right I basically was not how you unlock game. everything yeah i forgot that i was not gonna grab the tunic before i do everything Oh. Oh, right. <clears throat> yeah. You... Yeah. But I do want to go grab the Scarecrow song at some point. Gotcha. And I'll do that after. Oh. I need to go get a Pona. Yeah, no, I just want, like, one of these, like, because, like, Shop Titans is, like, you manage a shop, you craft items, you sell the, or you have people craft the items, and then you sell the items, and, you know, you upgrade your shop and all that. I just want something like that, but you don't have to say, okay, I'm going to cr keep crafting. I don't want to say, like, okay, you craft this now, and then that's done, and you have to keep doing it. Not, yeah. I mean, okay. <laughs> it's not exactly slavery. They're your, they're your, uh, crafters. You're, they are your employees. <laughs> But paid slavery. <laughs> Capitalism. Have you ever um, heard of Racketeer? Racketeer? Is... Yeah, it's a an older game. From like the PS1 days, I think. And it's um You you run your own shop and you have to actually go out and adventure and stuff and get the um the stuff you sell in your shop. And you have, like, a debt to pay by the end of the game. Oh my god, there's, like, so many games like that now. Are there? Yeah. Alright, then, so I don't fuck this up again. But I got fucked over last time with this. Yep. Uh, oh, I need oh, to go shit. use the bathroom. I'll be right back. My hand accidentally Good hit I hit the safe state button. Fuck. No, I mean, oh, well. on purpose. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Alright, everyone, talk shit about... about Enigma while he's gone. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, you mentioned you got a new job. What's the job? Enigma is weak in the Minecraft server. Uh, I'm going to actually delete that one. Uh, remove. Because I know Enigma very well, and he is very asexual, and that comment would make him incredibly uncomfortable. You prick!
Okay. Why do I keep getting stuck on that one corner? What the fu- What is going on with this? Like, for some reason, I keep- I keep getting caught on him. On that second race. Doesn't happen on this one! Okay. At least this isn't the fucking race where you need to get a certain time limit. YouTube so much. What happened? There we go. They kept me for the solid five minutes? Wh what happened? <laughs> like, break chat how? We have Epona. Huh, that's weird. You know, and is not done? Damn. Uh, I would try refreshing the page. Operator job. What do you mean? Operating what? Damn, I fucked up. I think we'll need to use that like two or three times throughout the entire series game, so. Hello? Get on the horse! Thank you. I am back. Welcome back. Did you fall in? No. Damn. It's an operator. Uh, it's basically, I get calls from patients and the like and get them scheduled to the doctor. Oh, kind of like what I do. I'm really bad at talking to negative ones usually gives me a bad energy toll. Yeah. I don't like working with people. I don't like people. I don't like. I don't. Breaking it down to its base contents because <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I totally get that. That's kind of a lot like what I do. Yeah. Where am I going? 
Oh, I need to go to the Temple of Time. I need to become small again. But wait, that race took me like three tries. Yeah. Because on the second race, apparently his, his hitbox is just larger. And I get stuck on it. Which is really ah. dumb. Don't give Mousy kisses. Because it will hurt Mousy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where even was I when that happened? Oh, I was in the bottom of the well. Last time. No boop the mousey, the mousey will die. I only have one hit point left. And it's too late, I am dead. No more gameplay. Mousey has been booped. Oh no. <clears throat> well, I think this week I want to pick up Yakuza again. All right. If my save is still there. Yeah. God, I hope it is, because that was, like, closest to the end. I don't know what else to put on the schedule. <laughs> I want to play Mario Odyssey. That could be fun. It's a fun game that I haven't... Like, I've beaten it, but I've never played through it that much on on stream. Yeah. And I can 100% it on stream. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I also won't be able to make 10 a.m. streams. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But I mean, the streams later in the day just don't feel good for me. I don't enjoy them. And it made me just not want to stream, which is not good. No. Definitely not. <clears throat> we need to go to the bottom of the well. Oh, okay. Land folk, yes, totally not RimWorld or any of the other games from that. It, it's literally the same fucking art style, too. What is? Land folk. Oh. It's a colony I... sim. But it looks very. It, it, it's, it's RimWorld. I never played RimWorld. It's multiplayer, so if anything, we could. No, co -op. I know. I wanted to get it, but even on sale, it's like forty dollars. And it's like I don't know if I'm gonna like this game, and I really don't want to spend forty dollars on a game that I don't know if I'm gonna like. Was it forty dollars? <laughs> like I believe you. I'm. I, I was like, was it forty dollars? Did I, I spend like that much on this game? Thirty-five ninety-nine. Um, oh yeah, it is thirty-five dollars. Holy yeah. shit! And that's the only reason why I haven't gotten it yet. Oh, I need to save state here. Oh, yes. But this has a penchant to crash sometimes. Ooh. I like the art style of this game. Dora Costa shit oh, on so yeah, but Factorio's boring. <laughs> yeah, Factorio is not a game. <laughs> it is, but it's not. I I'm I'm playing it. It is automation. But it'd be fun to play RimWorld and just name all the people after, like, subscribers and shit on your... Once I get membership, all the different members on YouTube. Yeah. And apparently you can make a cult in that game. In which, uh, in which game? In RimWorld. Oh, yeah. With Pretty one much. of the DLC. Open link in your... Yes. How did you get addicted to it? I mean, fair. It just... I don't think it's my kind of thing. Like, I don't want to play yeah. a game where you just make the game play itself. 
I mean, you still need to, like, actually upgrade and build the factory. It's just that you have the factory making the items for you. Yeah, that's fair. But it's more fun to craft it all yourself. And you can. There's just, there. there's one achievement I've been going for where, um, you only make up to a certain number of items and then everything else is done by your factory. Nice. I'm kind of feeling of industrialization, but industrialization sucks. City builder, factory It has tent. literally yep. led to the world decline. Factorio has led to so many uh, clones of it. The lazy bastard achievement? That, yes. So I learned a really easy way to get through this room. This platform oh. goes all the way to the wall. <laughs> Did you not know that? No, I thought it was like a tiny strip. No, I've I learned that a while ago. Fair. Yeah, there's so many Factorio clones. But that's not really what I'm looking for either. There should be a, another game called Factorio, but you have to factor numbers instead. <laughs> you have to Warframe. I don't think I've played Warframe. Isn't Warframe? That... I've played Warframe years ago. Isn't Warframe just like Titanfall? I, I never played Titanfall. I don't know anything about it. All I know is Warframe, you load into a level, at least when I play it. I don't know if it changed. You load into a level, you go through, you kill whatever's there, and you get shit at the end. Uh, so it's like Monster Hunter, but with robots. It, it's more of like a first-person shooter. You just go through the like five to ten minute level and get shit at the end. Uh, yeah, that doesn't seem like it for me. And again, it could have been... Okay, there's even, like, a Dark Souls mode. Again, it could have changed drastically since I played. But that is a game where I need, like, a group of friends to go and play. So much shit to do. Nice. You know what other game has so much shit to do to the point where even I haven't completed everything? Tears of the Kingdom. The critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. One person has gotten all the <laughs> achievements now. And Yoshi P's not not happy about it. <laughs> he said they need they need to make them harder. He's gonna need on. to Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just looking for a game where, like, I guess kind of like... <laughs> or kind of like uh, RimWorld, you can assign different people to do different tasks, but not RimWorld. I don't want that difficulty. I want, like, okay, you have these the, uh, these many uh, citizens, you're gonna... You, farmer, go fish, and then you, chef, cook the fish, you, farmer, and go you, fish. miner, you go mine the thing. Go farm. Oxygen not included. I've seen some gameplay of that. That's again not a game. Not really what the type of game that I'm imagining. But is Rimworld world difficult? Uh, yes. Okay. Because I'm kind of looking. I guess the best way to explain it is like Factorio, but I don't want to build the factory. And I think I got spectrumed. Nope. Okay. Ah, uh, you are still here. Uh, no, the stream was buffering slightly. Uh. Also, once I turn into an adult, we can finally skip this section forever. Um. But yeah, we're like, oh, these citizens are gathering these resources, and then these citizens are utilizing those resources, and lobotomy corporation. I'd rather Sounds have a, interesting. I'd rather have a full bottle in front of me than a full frontal lobotomy. <laughs> 
Roguelike monster management sim inspired by the likes of SCP Foundation, Cabin in the Woods, and Warehouse 13. Order your employees to perform work with the creatures and watch as it unfolds. There is not a demo, and I don't want to spend $25. Every game should have a demo. Every game, just about every game used to have a demo. You, you just get those fucking. You just PS1 needed to find. You just needed to find it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you needed to find it on a completely different game series. <laughs> Crash and Sparrow used to always have demos of each other's games on their things. Add it to the new Steam Family feature, and you could try it. Um, I'm gonna look through the little like preview real quick and see if it's worth you doing that, but again, I don't think this is what I'm imagining, or what, like the kind of game that I'm looking for right now. Have you tried Honey Pop? Damn it, Mousy, I thought you had an actual fucking suggestion. <laughs> and I don't really play a lot of those kinds of games, so I don't really have many. No, I know. Oh, I have one, actually. Uh-huh, go ahead. Have you tried the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV? <laughs> <laughs> also, safe state, yay! <laughs> also, I saw this great fucking way to beat this game. Yeah. Someone wanted to see if you could realistically fuck up the order of this game. Okay. So they went to the Water Temple, then the Shadow Temple, then the Forest Temple, then the Spirit Temple, and ended the Fire Temple last. Oh. Huh. Then it'll be uh, endless and see. faster than light. I've heard faster of Faster than second light. One. Yeah. But that's. Also, I don't think what he's looking for. I might know a game that you might like, but it's not... It's kind of a management sim in the battles. Have you heard of uh, Sunrider? No. Let me look up Dungeon of the Endless and I'll look that up next. Okay. Just know when you play Sunrider, do not download the patch, because the patch gives it scenes with nudity. Not porn, just nudity. I mean, if 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 the patch is, doesn't add any other content... It does not. Other than that, okay, yeah, no, I'm not downloading it. It's literally just an uncensored patch. <laughs> what was the name of it? Sunrider? The... the Sunrider? Sunrider. S-U-N-R-I-D-E-R. Yeah. Alright, there's a bunch of these. The, the first one is free, and it's called The Mask of Arcadius. Okay, Sunrider. Sunrider Academy, Sunrider Collection, Sunrider Mask of Arcadius. Don't play... That, oh, yeah. Don't play Sunrider Academy. That is literally <laughs> just a dating sim. <laughs> yeah, no, if I... I got that from from the the, the thumbnail. Oh, <laughs> but I I really love the characters and it's a good series. And I've gone to chat a couple times with the creators, Love and Space, and they seem cool. Nice. Uh... <clears throat> Anime, visual novel, free to play, Max sci fi yeah, so it's, I mean, it's at least worth trying out since, since it's free. It's free. That's Trent, a library. Kenji, I don't Kenji's play it also there. not what he's looking for, I don't think. Because Kenji, I believe, is more of a. What's the game series? XCOM. No, I'm looking for, like, the. like the same theme as the mobile games that I was trying, like Shop Heroes and all of that. Yeah. But I don't want the microtransactions, and I kind of want to be able to set the crafters to auto. 
and like just have like this assembly line um like set up yeah so again like you have my you have a bunch of miners that go and collect i guess i'll check that out yeah let's see Mine destroy? but also destroy. A bunch if of this miners? is setting up a, if this is setting up a, this is again setting up a factory that's not what i'm looking for this is like this is Factorio. God damn it! I was gonna make the joke of a bunch of miners. <laughs> the children yearn for the mines. Again, it's it not not necessarily just miners, but like what you know, fuck? you have gatherers. You have gatherers that collect the resources. Then you have crafters that what the fuck? I just saw that. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. You have gatherers that collect the resources, then you have crafters that craft the things, and then, you know, whatever little production what you need, fuck? and then eventually you sell an end product, and I just want to be able to do all of that automatically, set it to, like I said, an assembly line uh, set up, and then you manage a shop. Yeah. It's actually really easy when it gets scapped, you need the bow. There what we happened? go! What was that? There's a really easy way to get this guy, but you need the bow. Um, because if you're on the floor above him, as soon as mm -hmm. he fly or fly, rolls past one of the bombs on the floor, if you shoot it, it automatically makes it go off. That's actually clever. Yeah. <clears throat> What's the game? What's the game? Because it might be at least close enough. Or lead me on the right track. Honey pop. <laughs> <laughs> Space Warlord. Hmm. Organ trading, you say. <laughs> Anyway, now I can do the fire temple if I want, but I can't yet because I need the bow. Yep. And I... God fucking damn it. You may notice there's something missing here. Do you see it? Din's fire? Uh-huh. I guess that means I should probably do the forest temple now, then. Yeah. And then I have the warp song for the fucking... <clears throat> thing. <laughs> ah, yes. I'm... The thing. <laughs> the I'm just gonna go look at, like, more, more like... the Shop Titans game that I was trying before. That's fair. Ow. I'm hoping in Final Fantasy they add a dot for the dancer in 6.0. 7.0? God, I'm a dumbass. I was literally in the city and I could have just gone to the forest from there. My brain is not functioning today. It's okay. You need some food? Food is for the weak! Which is why we all need it. <laughs> yep. Hey, speaking of which, I learned yesterday that pork and spaghetti sauce is strange. Yeah. It doesn't mix well with, well with ground beef. <laughs> but it's not bad. Alright. 
Want to support the mousy? Give mousy all your money and life possessions. <laughs> <clears throat> what are you plans? For what are you plans? Yes. Yeah. What are your plans for the rest of the weekend, Enigma? Uh, I think uh, me. I think me and some friends are gathering later. I'm going to explain to them what happened yesterday. With what? um a scam, the scam interview. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, and I don't know if we're just playing game, like just gathering to like play board games, or if we're gonna play D and D. I'm not sure what's happening later. Um, and then tomorrow I'm gonna probably stream some Final Fantasy, maybe get some programming in, depending on how I feel. Because I do need, I do want to like tutorials. I would need to get so much shit set up. I don't feel like dealing with that. Fair. On such short notice. Kind of a yeet over a child. But, uh... No, I, I saw one suggestion of, like, starting a habit, like a good habit, is to just, like, just go five minutes a day. For programming? For just anything. If you wanted to, like really get into something like the 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 example they gave was like read a book for like five minutes a day yeah and eventually you'll find yourself just reading for like 30 to 60 minutes eat ass for so. five minutes a day <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's honestly a really good suggestion so like maybe between stream and gathering later i'll you know try and do some programming because I, I i'm kind of going back and forth between wanting to create a like a, a vampire survivor clone or a tower defense game <laughs> not enough ass to satiate my hunger yes and realistically i could just set up two different projects and work on both but <sighs> but you can't even do one project <laughs> I already have so many projects. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wanna combine them? A survivor tower defense? Like I mean I mean a tower defense is work. kind of just the survivor game when you think about it. You have waves of enemies that you need and you use different weapons. Like, like, when you strip them down to their core, a tower defense game is just a survivor game. I mean, not really. No, again, when you strip them down to their very basic core. I mean, you yeah, have, but if you do that, then you every have, game you, would be the same. The, the way I'm seeing it, so, like, a survivor game is you level up, you get, or you earn currency, you level up, and you buy and upgrade weapons. It, uh -huh. The the survivor game is is obviously a, a bit more roguelike, but you use those weapons to survive ever increasing, di uh, ever increasing waves of enemies, just like you do with tower defense. You uh, you usually have some amount of health. Ooh, that actually is a decent idea. You gather resources in a vampire survivor's like phase, and then you use them in a tower defense phase. That could work. Oh my god, I hate these fucking spiders! I don't know, but at, at, honestly, like right now, I'm kind of just like I want to program the basic objects that you would need in each of those, which I think a a vampire survivor's thing. If I just code the enemies is easier, but a tower defense overall, I think, is easier. Yeah. Because you literally just need... Because the, the enemies don't even need to be... Nice. The enemies don't need to be complex. They literally just need, like, health and speed. You know what's even <laughs> and easier? then the towers are... What? Pong. I've, I've programmed that before. Not in Game Maker, but I have programmed a Pong game before. And it's easy. It is. I've programmed Pong, I've programmed Brick Breaker, and I've programmed Snake. 
The only game I programmed was tic-tac-toe, and it took me, like, six hours. It's, it's kind of funny because, like... I don't want to say tic-tac-toe is easy, but, like... Or easy to program, but, like, I've solved tic-tac-toe on my own. <laughs> Do anything moving while player moves? Sure. Oh, I mean, I'm just saying, like, in a very basic tower defense game, the enemies literally just move. So you would just need, like, their HP and... Um... Their HP and their, their movement speed. Obviously, yes, you can make a more gimmicky thing like balloons tower defense has certain balloons that are immune to certain damage types yeah exactly immunity to all damage except for cheese <laughs> but like in theory like i could totally make a i think i think i might do try and work on a tower defense esque game nice Weird for like one sentence. You can be weird all you, you want. Yeah, I was about to say, but Mousey beat me to it. I only deleted that other comment because I don't know how how Enigma would have felt about it. You deleted a comment. Yeah, because I thought that would have made you un uncomfortable. I hang out. I talked. I've been talking to you on a daily basis. What co what could the comments have possibly been that you think it would have made me uncomfortable? So when you left, I said, "All right, let's all right. talk shit about Enigma." And, right. Uh, he said Enigma has such a fat cock, and I'm like, I don't know if Enigma would like that. I w I probably would have just been like, a "What the fuck, here?" <laughs> yeah, I just and that's wanted it. And to then make sure. <laughs> Moon Tower Defense, six monkeys are hot? Interesting. I mean, teach their own. You wrote that it was a bird? Yeah, afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> but I had already deleted the comment by then. I don't have any pet birds, I have pet cats. Wow, Nick, you have a really will. nice pussy. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> like a bait and switch? A master I didn't just walk switch? in I didn't just walk into that joke, I held the door open for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mike, please, gold slatter, thank you. Oh, there's still a great line in... I forget which movie it was. It was one of the Mel Brooks movies. Where, um... I think it was supposed to be, like, Queen, Queen Cleopatra has, like, slaves. And it's like, ah, the servant waits while the master baits. <laughs> They're all just staring at her. <sighs> that just reminds me of the one line from um, Aurelio Voltaire's uh, song about Doctor Who. Um, oh. Yeah, he has a line where it's just like, um, an evil nemesis we call the master, pause, baits me into all kinds of disaster. <laughs> And he, there's, like, so many innuendos like that in that song. It's absolutely hysterical. Perfect. I think I can um, hit this with the long shot, but I don't Probably. Like, there's that joke, and then it's just, like... There's another line where he goes, like, I must admit it's rather long. If you think I mean my scarf, you're wrong. <laughs> You bloody pervs, I, me I meant this song. Yeah. 
Nuggets with cheese sauce will, was deployed. Nice. Right. I've never heard of nuggets with a cheese sauce, though. What the fuck is this, and when did I download it? What? This is the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, critically acclaimed since oh, right. 1997. Oh my god, I downloaded a, I downloaded a demo like 20 minutes, like 10, 15 minutes ago, and I completely forgot about it all. <laughs> There are cheese inside. Interesting. Oh What's the demo? Uh, Solash? It's- it's another- it's a roguelike. Or it's- it, it's basically Factorio. I'm not gonna- it's Factorio. <laughs> I was gonna say it's a roguelike Factorio, but then I remembered that Factorio's maps are randomly generated. So I'm actually, I'm already bored of this game. Now that was quick. That was like two and a half seconds. What? Me getting bored of the game or you're the, or the fight? You getting bored of the game. It's like, oh, I forgot I downloaded this start setup. Wow, this sucks. <laughs> I was kind of just, I did, I got it through into the menu and then it's just like, here's the world. Do you want to create it or create a different world? I'm like... No, That's thank not how you. roguelikes are supposed to work. <laughs> Have you ever played Rogue Legacy? Know. Yes. That game is hard. It is. I beat the first boss, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> nice. Just sit in the menu. Damn, this game sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I literally bo booted it up for, like, no, she said, like, two seconds. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm done. I know what game I'll go play. What game? Uh, critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> ah, nice. Alright, rule of three, we're done, we're good. <laughs> and it has a critically acclaimed... Uh, Although I think that is technically the fourth time, but... What? Yes. And it has a critically acclaimed... Exclaimed? Critically acclaimed expansion Heavensward, which leads to the critically acclaimed expansion... Shad... Sword... Sword... Storm... Heaven's Blood? Blood. Storm Iris. Blood? He there's, there's Heaven's Ward, Storm Blood. I already said Heaven's Ward. Yeah. Uh, after that, it's Shadowbringers, which will be free probably in like five years. Um, and Endwalker. In like five years after. So, was it you that said they have like a plan for like 20 years more of content? I think they said they have ideas. Welcome to stream, Gene. How you doing? I think it said they have plans for like three more expansions after Dawn Trail. Something like that. Then maybe it was one of my other friends that said it was like they had plans for like 20 years more. I still hate how that that Stalfos can float on air. Yeah, but welcome to stream, Gene. How you doing? I think you're new here, right? Because I don't think I've seen you. But this is the Maso Quest. If I die, I have to restart back basically here because I've done the, the first section enough where I can prove I, I can do it every time without... Oh my god! Having to spend hours every day doing it. Aw, oh, thank you very yeah, much. Every time I see you at, like, one or two hearts of damage and they do their leap, I have a heart attack. <laughs> It doesn't matter how many times you countered that attack. I will always, yeah. always panic. But Gene, if you want to uh, hang out at some point, you should join the Discord. It's at the exclamation point Discord. We have fun in there. And eventually we're going to have a community night. Yes. <laughs> We've been trying for like, what now, three weeks to yep. have a community night? I what I will work. No, no Aaron. But have fun, Pikmin. So, hey, Gene, Pikmin, are you finished with those errands? <laughs> feel it now with the crab? Art thou feeling it now with the crabs? 
Well, I guess you're gonna miss out on the panty ring. <laughs> Hello, such a second fucked up Gene. Episode. <laughs> that really was a fucked up episode. They're they're not allowed to air that episode anymore. Good. I don't know if I have enough nuts for this. <laughs> a children's cartoon encouraging sexual harassment. Hell yeah! Good. They should not be able to air that episode. <laughs> I love how it was his mom's house, though. But is that also your account, Gene, or is that a different Gene? I don't know. Just the cult of Gene? Alright. Have fun. <clears throat> uh, that does seem to be their account, yes. Both. Okay. Because at first I saw no profile picture, then I saw a profile picture. Yeah, I was a little confused too. I just went, I just clicked on both uh, usernames and went to channel. So, yeah. All right. <clears throat> yeah. I do not have enough nuts for this fight. I need three and I only have two. Oh my god. Story of my life. <laughs> like Dr. Evil. I forget, have you seen Austin Powers? I know I've asked before, I but have. I forgot. I have, but not recently. I, I was actually thinking of uh, binging the movies. They're great. Oh my god, hitting these guys without nuts is actually really difficult. It's not so much that it's difficult, it's just that it's a lot slower. Because if you target them... <gasps> Mousy was a treasure the whole time. If you target them, they disappear. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta be very quick about it. I've had it before where I was able to jump slash and then jump slash immediately after and still hit both of them. Or hit both times. Nice. <clears throat> I am getting hunger. Surprisingly, I am not, but I do need to run my dishwasher at some point. I think all I have here is the fucking giant ass pot of spaghetti that I made. <laughs> Which is fine, like, I expect it to last me a few days. Yeah. Nice. Excuse me. It's okay. You are excused. But only this once! Okay. Everybody gets one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just realized, for if I do end up making the tower defense game, mm -hmm. even if it's just like a prototype, I'm going to need to edit my menu. Um the menu thing that I was working on the other day because yeah because if I mean like if you think about it uh, the selecting the towers is just in itself a menu yeah but usually with icons and right now I just have text <laughs> yeah so I will need to eventually edit that I didn't get the iron boot yeah, but that could just be, like, hovering over the tower. There's a lot that I'm definitely going to need to work on. I kind of... Right now, I'm really just working on the objects themselves. Yeah. And getting the behavior correct. Or that's what I plan to do, anyway. I'm not doing that at this very moment. Do at this very right moment, this I'm fighting a four-legged robot. Uh... God, it's not someone from Final Fantasy VIII, is it? Um, it's a manipulator. 
Yeah. Or, from, yeah. From, from, from Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, are you fighting... Anima? No. Uh, because Anima has, uh, legs. They're called manipulators. Left and right manipulator. <laughs> and he's a robot. Oh, maybe this is supposed to be that, then. I don't know. If so, he's from Final Fantasy XIII. Okay. Come to include some janky formula that will make something stupidly overpowered. Make it the mousy unit. <laughs> oh, in the tower defense thing? Yes. Yeah. Um, I was honestly thinking about basing it off of um the like mage school campaign me and my friends play in. Oh. Um, so it's like, basically it, it's like our freeform D and D thing, where like anything goes more or less. Just towers that send out mouse to destroy something. The no, if anything, mouse. Mo if anything, mouse would be the unbeatable, uh, unbeatable wave of enemies. Yes. Fuck you. Though I could just make a mousey themed tower defense game. <laughs> Let's if work on it. I really wanted it. to. I will do the art. Now we sell it for fifty dollars, and in order to join the cult of Mousy, you must buy it. And it's one level. Oh my god! Hmm? I'm just imagining it. All of the towers are just different forms of Mousy, right? So like your Link form that you, you the PNG that you have now. Uh huh. Let's say, and it's just like all of the different art of Mousy, and then all of the enemies are the are different members of the community. Yes, <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Also, I love how they give you sticks here. You can't even use them as adult links. Yeah, I think that's really dumb. Well, then again, you normally don't fight those enemies as adults. I mean, I mean, fair, but at the same time, like... I feel like you should be able to just use the stick. Yeah. You don't, you, you like, never need the stick, ever. And it does the same damage as the Master Sword, so, like, logically, it's a waste if you use it as an adult Link, as adult. But as there's no reason link. to... Yes, as an adult Link. Um, but there's no reason to not allow someone to draw the stick. Yeah. I can draw a stick, it's just a, a brown oh. line on a piece of paper. <laughs> Hey, do you know what's brown and sticky? Shit. A stick. I mean, both work. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what trial do I have today? I am fighting... Gargan. Dagron. Yes. Is it Bahama? It is not. Damn. You know how Do skeletons you are know? Called? Nope. What? Boned? Yep, there it is. Uh -huh. Hey Enigma, what's a skeleton's favorite favorite food? Ribs. No, they're dead. They can't eat. <laughs> that reminds me of like the of the comic. It's like, hey, what's a what's a skeleton's favorite instrument? And the girl goes like, a, a trombone. Oh, it's bongos, you racist fuck. <laughs> it's what? It's bongos. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's bongos. We don't have lips. We can't play the trombone. What the fuck? Exactly. Or lungs. <laughs> lungs are for square. <clears throat> hey. 
I have a joke, but it's really bad. I don't know if I can say it on stream. Uh, when you're, I would say maybe send it to me on Discord, and I'll be like, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I actually saw it on YouTube, so it should be okay. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, what's the difference between a, a Catholic priest and acne? I already know the answer. <laughs> acne, at least wait till you're 12 to come on your face. <laughs> it's so bad, but unfortunately, it really is. it's so true. Yeah, that that's that, that's a joke I've seen online a lot. Yeah. Xylophone is certified skeleton music. Yeah. <laughs> you mean the xylophone? Yeah. <laughs> Helsing Ultimate Abridged actually has a lot of jokes like that. Oh. Oh, because of the whole Catholic organization. Yeah. Well, if is it well if it isn't the Catholic Church, and no little Timmy tied to your crotch, progress. Yes. And, and it's just a whole bunch of shit like that. I think that there was like one joke, or there were two jokes that the writers, or that I remember seeing that the writers actually regret making. Uh, in the first episode, there's one making fun of Twilight. Um, and then later on, they're like, yeah, we jumped on the bandwagon. It's, you know, just... Eh, eh, it was kind of a dated joke. It's not funny. And then another one um, has a character who's like, well, you know what time it is. And then it just says raping time underneath. Oh. It's like, Ugh. Yeah, I don't remember why... It was just like so random. Dog news found a mine. News spread throughout all the village. What? I don't get it. The dog news found a mine. News spread through all the village because he blew up and all of. Ah. Uh, anyway, how do we get back up? Good question. With no ladder. Oh, there's a ladder over here. <clears throat> but yeah, here. Yeah. Joke is funny. Was just confusing with la with um. Lack of syntax. syntax. Yeah. Syntax decent. <laughs> <laughs> There's no hope for me. <laughs> My grammar failed me. No. Yes. <clears throat> oh, I have to switch over here for now. Can I snipe all the spook? That's not the button I pushed, but okay. Now I'm just imagining a magic card that's um one white or blue mana. That's choose one target counter black spell or change one like land type or color on target spell to another. And it's called Syntax. Why can I not hit this guy? I'm clearly hitting him. There we go. I have three shots to hit three enemies. Um, I, actually, no. It would be choose. Uh, it would be choose one counter target black spell, destroy target black permanent, or change 
one land or color, land type or color on in an effect to another. And it would be called syntax. Sounds racist. <laughs> no, there are worse cards. <laughs> I oh. think I showed you one. Probably. It was called Cleanse. <laughs> yep. It is bad. Because we're very racist. Game. What? The card Cleanse is very bad. Yeah. It was very racist. <laughs> Welcome Scream Eve. Thank you for the sub. I am doing a challenge called the Masso Club that I made. Where I had to play through all three of the 3D Zelda games without dying once. It is very difficult. But how you doing? That's the wrong song. And so far, the yep, players that have made it is both the Shadow Temple and the Spirit Temple. <clears throat> doing pretty good. That's yeah. good. Oh, and I only have three hearts to do the entire Yeah, cannot, cannot die. Only three hearts. Not allowed to bottle fairies. No uh, double what defense. were the other ones? Yeah, no double defense. <laughs> I have been playing Zelda for longer than a lot of VTubers have been alive. <laughs> <laughs> Still trying to beat Zelda Master Quest in 3DS at this moment. Nice! This is the Master Quest version, by the way, of Ocarina of Time. Yep. AKA the good version. Yep. That I still need to play through. You haven't played it at all? Nope. I know we got the Dodongo's, the Master Quest Dodongo's Cavern in one of our rando races, but yeah, that's that was it. that fun. I don't, okay. I'll play. I don't have any arrows, what do I do? Okay. Oh, I have 20 nuts. Perfect. Yeah, I have beaten this game dozens of times. And I honestly find the Master Quest to be easier. Not overkill. Yes. I think you find the Master the Master Quest easier because that's the one you've played the most. Yeah, it's just more fun. Uh, Jabu Jabu's belly is definitely goofier. Cows! <laughs> I would say if we do another rando race, we should... Yeah. Is there a way to make it guaranteed that Jabu Jabu's Belly is Master Quest? I believe so, but I'm not 100% sure. Because the next time we do a race, because the our last two just got fucked up. Um, the next time we do a race, we should do that because it does add a lot more cows. Something else we should do is make Bottom of the Well Master Quest. Yes, I do agree. We can just get the main item within like five minutes. <laughs> Frank? Yes. <clears throat> I mean, in Come theory. Me, bitch. <laughs> in theory, you can get the main item in the Bottom of the Well in like two minutes in normal. No, Can't because you? you have to you fight just... the boss. Well, that's... Okay, other than fighting the boss, you go to the back, you drain the thing, and then you go and fight... Whitehead, or Deadhead. But you need key. Eh, whatever. <laughs> you need a key. Time to go fight the boss. The Phantom Ganon. <laughs> By the way, Eve, if you're interested, you should join the Discord. Welcome to hell. And Eve, thank you for the sub. To the Welcome to hell. Alright, <laughs> after this raid, I need to look at it. Welcome to Next stream. Message. Thank you for the sub. How you doing? What did I miss? Someone else just subbed. <laughs> oh, nice. Welcome. I got distracted by a text message. It's okay. about an About an apparent, um application I submitted, but I need to 
I'm this time I'm going to look to make sure it's not a scam before actually entertaining the idea. Yeah. Well, is Again, it, it ended up being funny. Is it one that you applied for? This one? I need to double check. Like I said, I kind of just saw that it was something about an application. Ah. Uh... I need to look to see where they said they're from and then double check my zip recruiter thing and all of that. But yeah, yesterday, well, two days ago, I got a mess, uh, an email like, "Hey, we know, you know, uh, we got your application to company, and you know, we want to set up an interview. Follow these steps." And I'm like, "Okay." So I did that. Uh, had an, it was weird. I had a. They said that the interview was going to be via IM or instant messaging because whatever, but it was through Microsoft Teams, so I'm like, sure. Weird, Fine. but okay. <laughs> yeah, weird, but okay. Um, and that, so I answer all the questions that they have, and they're like, cool, we're gonna offer you the job. And I'm like, all right, and then I awesome. told me, I'm like, that seems not okay. <laughs> Well, I've I've had interviews where they where they call me literally like twenty minutes later. And they're like, "We're gonna offer you the job." So, I wasn't really like too thrown off about it, but it was definitely like, uh, "All right, awesome." But then they immediately go into, "All right, follow like here's the procedure. Follow this these instructions." I'm like, "But I didn't get to ask any questions during the interview." And then they didn't huh. know how to English. <laughs> yeah, then they didn't know how to English. I asked about my resume. Oh, but we don't have your re like I don't have access to your resume. And they gave very generic answers about it. And I'm like, okay, yeah, no, this is sketch. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Because I asked, I'm like, oh, what stood out about my resume? And they're like, oh, it was very clean, very easy to read. I'm like, okay, hey, that's yeah. not a good reason to interview someone just because their resume is clean and well organized, fine, but just easy to read. Yeah, and then you're like, did you no. want me because of this company or this company? And then they said, well, we can't tell you the information on your resume. <laughs> yeah, we don't, like, I don't have access to your resume per hiring protocol or some bullshit like that. I'm like, yeah, you're the hiring manager or you're the interviewer. You should be looking at my resume right now. What? And both of the jobs you mentioned are jobs you've never had. <laughs> yeah. It was, it, they were companies that I were, like interacted with due to previous jobs I've had, but I never worked for them. Uh... In fact, I, I actually like just like actively dislike those two companies. Oh. So in with um with my first job in healthcare, mm -hmm. right, so we'll say company A. Um one of the owners had friends in those two companies. And so we dealt with those doctors. It was a like I said, it was a healthcare position. But we dealt with doctors at those two companies. And they were assholes. <laughs> uh, and they didn't want to do anything. And, like, God forbid we enforce the, like, n like necessary requirements for insurance companies. Like, and say, no, 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 the doctor needs to include this in their notes or sign this thing because patient needs these items. And I got yelled at one time because a person on the other end of the, on the other end of the phone didn't want to do their fucking job. As per usual. So I actively dislike those two companies because the doctors didn't want to do their fucking jobs. Yeah. Also, <laughs> apparently, you can get to the. Uh spirit temple without the lens of truth because if you know which signs to f oh no not that one uh well you can you can do the same thing in majora's mask you don't need the seahorse mm -hmm. yeah if you just know the path 
I thought you needed the seahorse because the signs are all in weird places, but apparently the signs are slightly different colors. <laughs> oh! And if you follow the ones that are the correct color, then you'll make it. Neat. Alright guys, I'm gonna let yeah, you the... vote. Do we go to the fire temple or the water temple first? The wind temple. Fire temple or water temple first? <laughs> Ah, uh, the Earth Temple. I will fucking stab you. I'm gonna yeet over the child again. <laughs> water? Okay. Good, because we yeah, can't... Yeah, I think, I think, I think water is better. We, we can't even do the Fire Temple yet. But, uh... Where am yeah, I no, going? I, th I, I don't know. I think the Lens of Truth it, it kind of works similar to, um... How the Rainbow Bridge <clears throat> spawns in in like programming shortcuts. Oh. Well, they they aren't going to code in the requirement because they figure that you'll get the thing. No one that either a no one's going to memorize it or b if they do, like kudos to them. Memorize. What? Oh, the, the, yeah, okay. the path through the yeah. desert. Sorry. <clears throat> you know, like, kudos to them, but they figure they'll need it to, mm -hmm. at the very least, get through it once. I once tried to go through backwards. Like, go from the Fairy Temple back to Gerudo, and it did not work. I had to do that in one of the races. <laughs> I tried I think, for like in 20 random. minutes. I even followed a guide and could not get it. <laughs> It's yeah, it took hard. me a few tries. Eventually, I got it, but... It's just really hard. Yes. <clears throat> you know what else rather, is really I, hard? I think I just needed to get to uh, the center of the desert. But, ah, funny. The boulder is really hard. Wait, that still sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Avatar stuff lately. The boulder is conflicted here. <laughs> the boulder is conflicted on fighting a small child. Looks like, like you're I gonna need help, the pebble. The boulder is no longer conflicted. God I love how, damn um, it! I don't, Why did I not I don't... go get the fucking warp song when I was... I... <laughs> go on. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember who voices the boulder, but it was another wrestler that was like friends with the rock. Wasn't and it, he, wasn't it, yes. What's his face? What? Wasn't it Randy Savage? Maybe I don't think so. I'll the double check. Avatar, the last Airbender. But I know that he was friends with the rock and doing like a uh, the rock oh, it's Mick or Foley. Dwayne. Okay, I was right. I did have it right in my head. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so he was just doing, like, a, an impression of The Rock. I'm not a big... F no, he was doing a, an expression of, um, an impression of, uh, Randy Savage. Because he, uh, Randy Savage is the one who famously spoke like that. I think. Uh, I mean, well, it, the boulder is just a joke about The Rock. Yeah. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I don't like wrestling, but I do have a lot of respect for Mick Foley. I'm not big on wrestling. My friends are, so, like, sometimes if they're like, we're gonna go watch WrestleMania, I'd be like, yeah, I'll join just to chill, but... Fake name is cool. Why not use it? What do you mean? Who's... Who's... Second name is cool? Yeah, huh? What? I'm very confused. Hi, Confused, I'm Mousy. Um... <laughs> oh, but by yeah, the it... way, before you go mm -hmm. on, before I forget, there's a guy running for president right now, and he legally changed his name, <coughs> the first name, to literally his middle name to anybody and his last name to else. His name is literally anybody else. 
And he's running <laughs> against Biden and Trump. Oh God! Me. Oh, okay. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> but yeah, my fa my favorite, the only like one of the only things I really enjoy when I watch wrestling with my friends is whenever a wrestler sets up a table or whatever spot. My favorite game to play is. Who will who will be thrown into that? The person that set it up, or their initial target? Or option C, <laughs> neither or both. No, it's it's almost always the person who like if they don't immediately get their target into the spot, the person that sets it up is usually the one that goes through it. Yeah, get Lego. And it's uh, so like I just like to play. I just like to play the game of. Who's it gonna be? So I said that I had a lot of respect for Mick Foley. Mm -hmm. He had a match. Well, I'm gonna mention one of them first. He had a match with The Rock, where The Rock okay. was supposed to hit him on the on the head with a chair. And yeah. Mick Foley's children are watching this. By the way, they were like okay. five and seven at the time, I think. And so right. he whacked him in the head. And Mick Foley is supposed to give up, but he doesn't. The Rock ended up hitting him legit, like, actually, eventually really hard to get him to stay down. Like, uh -huh. 30 times in the face with a chair. Until he was legitimately bleeding everywhere. He had to, like, be rushed to the hospital. Jesus. And that was the easy one. <laughs> the other one... He was fighting the Undertaker on the top of a of a cage match. <clears throat> Those things are like Actually, how tall are they? How tall was the cage match with Mick Foley and the Undertaker? Sixteen feet. He was yep. thrown off the top onto the fucking concrete ground and got back up climbed back up because he wanted to entertain so then yeah. the undertaker was supposed to uh slam him onto the top of the cage but it broke and he fell through again into the ring he could barely fucking stand up but he did anyway and then he went and got, like, a whole fucking bag of thumbtacks. Laid them out and had the rock slam him on them multiple times. All for entertainment purposes. He's not dead yet, somehow. <laughs> yep. That is a true masochist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. He should be doing this challenge run. <laughs> I think there was a time when he when he got hit in the face with a cactus as well. I could see that. Yeah, his stage name was Mankind. Oops, I forgot to give comms, but oh well. Damn. I haven't checked my comms, because I, I hope I got from the past couple days when we've been doing the run. One time with cactus is better than 30 times with chair. I hard disagree on that. The cactus, the so, spines could pierce your eyes. I was about to say, so long as you don't get hit with in the eye with one of those thorns. Yeah. <clears throat> And don't quote me, but I believe some cactus has poisonous spines. I could see it. Let me... Let's see. I'm gonna waste what thing of milk here. Five poisonous cacti to keep away from children and pets. What so happened? yes, there, there are poisonous cacti. Yeah. 
Does anyone know what the most what the poisonous creature on the planet is? Mousy. No, that's toxic. <laughs> Well, not both poison, but I guess deadly. Yeah. Poisonous to eat, but not their- No, their spikes are legitimately poisonous. I've eaten cactus. Eh, it's okay. <sighs> deadly still deadly mouse. Still mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <clears throat> but does no one actually know? Ugu? No, I mean, if you eat it, then yeah. But these are not eating. These are technically biting. Oh, okay. I'm actually surprised you don't know this. I probably do. I'm, I just, I do not have the mental capacity to think right now. The... Between talking, between talking and playing uh, Final Fantasy. Fair. The creature that kills more people than anything else every year is... People! Mosquitoes. Oh. Mosquitoes are the <laughs> deadliest creatures on the entire planet. By far, too. Yeah. And that also makes sense. I like my answer, though, of people. Of yeah. other people. <laughs> mm. I am gonna have used up all my milk, aren't I? Unless I wanna go back to the fucking. No, I guess I. No, I do. Ow. Cause I need three bottles of the blue fire. Hello, Popper. Boop. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Oh, there's a oh, god damn it! There is a portal quote I want to find. Other people te technically count. Well, yeah, but they don't kill as many people as mosquitoes do. Not even close. <clears throat> Excellent, you're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? You know who you else murders sharks? people who only try to help them? My mom! Did you mom. say sharks? <laughs> Did you say sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. <laughs> nice. I love GLaDOS. <laughs> I really do. I wish that there was a... I, I, again, I know, like, LEGO Dimensions... The portal section in LEGO Dimensions is technically Portal 3. Is it, though? Uh, Jonathan Colton did an ending credit song for it, so yes. Who the fuck is Jonathan Colton? <laughs> the guy who did the... Oh. He, uh, he's one, an, one he's second, a musician. I'll be right back. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, for the chat. Jonathan Colton is a musician who does a bunch of, like, kind of silly songs and nerdy songs and whatnot, and he did... He wrote the ending credit songs for Portal 1 and 2. And there's a song that I will send to Mousy on the 1st of May, titled, The 1st of May. Uh, the You Finally Leaving song? Um... Want You Gone, Still Alive. Um, I'm trying to think of what the one from Portal 3, or from the LEGO Dimensions thing was. But yeah, pretty much the You Finally Leaving song.
I am back. Welcome back. My chair is here, but the box is really small. You might need to put the chair together? Well, no, but like... It's small to the point that there's no way a backrest could fit in this box. Ah. Unless it comes in two pieces. Unless it comes in two pieces, or they put the backrest in diagonally? Maybe? I'm gonna open it real quick. That's right, guys. Now she has a knife. Oh, and, and uh, so... You can hear me, yeah? Nope. Okay. Um, so I was telling chat that Jonathan Colton is the guy that wrote the end credit songs for Portal 1 and 2 uh, and Lego Dimensions. Uh, still alive, want you gone, and you wouldn't know. The backrest did somehow fit. Oh my god, Was it, it is insanely pink. <laughs> you should throw up a picture on stream. Once I get it more open. You know what, guys? What if I just built a chair on stream right now? Would anyone be interested in hearing Mousy suffer? I mean, it's Master Quest, so of course. I was gonna say it's Master questions. Quest Day. Of course, we wanna, we wanna, well, we'd be entertained by your suffering. All right, let's do it. We're making a chair. But no, it was not in diagonally. Ah, damn. It was a good idea, though. It take too long to make a chair. Maybe, what, like 20 minutes? Possibly. Especially if you've already built, like, two chairs before. <laughs> I have built a bunch of chairs before, but I've always sucked at it and have had help. Yep. Now I have you for emotional support. Mm, poor choice, but okay. What now? I said poor choice, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have you here to laugh at me when I fail. What the fuck is this? Mm. Right now I'm just trying to take everything out of the box. Oh, these are the legs. Yep. Yeah, don't worry guys, I'll be quick. But everyone, is everyone having a good day so far? <clears throat> I was until about five seconds ago when you said that you'll be quick and my brain jumped to, that's what she said. <laughs> Enigma is evolving. <laughs> and I don't know if, if I should be proud or terrified. <laughs> I hope this comes with instructions. I mean, after putting together one chair, I was like, okay, this really isn't that difficult. No, but this one, like, the different arms, like, the, the legs and the bottom piece are separate. Mm-hmm. I've never seen that before. Oh, like the, the mechanism for the chair to rise up and down? No, like, the actual, like, legs of the chair... Like the the thing that the canister sits in to rise up and down. Right, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh. And no, no, no. It's and not just one, one large. No, like all the looking. parts that jut off from that are separate. <laughs> oh yeah, I've never seen that before either. I thought you meant the canister and the base uh, were no. separate. I'm like, that's normal. Yeah, that's what? normal. 
why is it that the box didn't feel too heavy, but all the indiv individual pieces feel very heavy? I don't know. Wheels on the canister. The headrest. Oh yeah, my chair doesn't even have a headrest. Oh. Or wheels. Well, I guess let me know how that chair fares, and, um... When I decide to order a new one, maybe I'll get the, uh... Maybe I'll get the same brand. The pixie pink one? <laughs> no, same brand, not same color. Because, I mean, this is probably going to be a good chair. It was on sale. Um... It was... $40 off and then it was an ex it, there was a coupon for an extra $60 off so I got it for $110 and it's originally a $200 check wow so it better be good I mean, that's about what I've been spending on my chairs, and they haven't worked out well in the end. Uh, why haven't they worked out well, though? One of them broke. Fair. And this one, the, the like, little lever to lock the chair from, uh... <laughs> leaning back mm -hmm. or from reclining keeps sliding out uh, also close. the I mean not a terrible idea but also the um, the like leather or whatever the uh, the upholstery is ripped is torn uh, not to the same degree that yours was but like still it's getting there and I've had this chair for less than a year. Damn. See, this chair is, uh, fabric. It's not leather. Whatever. I, I doubt this is, like, real leather either, but... It's leather. Yeah. But, like, you know what I mean. Like, the... I do. Where the fuck are the screws for this thing? Okay, I found them. They're in the same bag with the the wheels. Mm -hmm. Eventually, if and when I move out, I do kind of want to build my own actual desk. Out of plywood. Pretty much. No, I would at least like make it look better than like here's a piece of plywood for my desk. But at the same time, I don't want to be spending hundreds of dollars for like a pre-designed desk when I'm like, I kind of need more. I need other features. Let me do this. Mousy am build chair. There we go. Yes. Okay. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to try to take the old chair out of my room. Have fun. You can all hear me, but I can't hear you. How's everyone's day going so far? I think people answered that earlier, but I don't know. Maybe maybe things have changed, or maybe there's more people in chat. Who knows?
I need 300 more tombstones. That's a 100. That's okay. Let's not do that one right now. Let's do. Let's do dungeons. Yes. Oh, right. I was going to look at text messages. I think I actually applied to this place, but the the automated text message seems a little sus. Because it's like, oops, looks like we lost connectivity. And I am at, back. Hello. Hello. So I took a, a bit of a look at the text message I was, I mentioned before, and it already looks a little sus. Oh. Um. I, I need to double check if I applied to the com to the company mentioned, but at the very end it says, "Oops, looks like we lost connectivity." In and then like an error message, and like that just seems that just seems sus. A little bit. I'll take enough to keep a watch on chat for me. Okay. I'm currently on my floor. Instructions. Step one, insert the five supports into the footstool. There are five supports needed to be inserted. Pink. So I need an M. Six by twelve millimeter screw. Also, hey, one little fun fact, Enigma. Door. Did you know that there is always a chance for the canister in your chair to explode and kill you instantly? I mean, there's a chance for a lot of things to do, th do a different things and kill you instantly. True. But imagine just sitting down and just getting the fucking penetration of your lifetime. <laughs> I mean, as long as I die quickly. As long as I die enjoying it. Nope. <laughs> Never gonna happen. <laughs> oh. The Allen wrench they provide is actually really nice. Yeah? It's long on both sides, not just on one side. Ooh. I mean, the... Like I mean, the reason why they do... Well, yeah, I guess that is helpful. Well, let me, let me reiterate, it's longer on one side, but they're both still longer than that tiny-ass one that they always seem to provide. Yeah. Oh, don't why not. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm, oh, there it is. Okay, I did apply to this place. Nice. Five days ago. And they're only now just getting to it. Yeah, maybe they had a lot of applicants to go through. Alright, but I will keep an eye out. What the fuck? This is not going in at all. I will be very observant and scrutinize the responses very, very thoroughly. Probably for the best. Especially because, again, like I said, it's like the the error message at the end is already sus. Yeah, 
Yeah, this hole does not let Oh, you know what? No, fuck that. It says position closed. What? I just noticed. On ZipRecruiter, where it says apply to jobs, I looked and I found the one for this company. But it says position closed, so, uh. Damn. Yeah, the holes yeah. here do not line up. I'm very confused. That sucks. I'm gonna, like, try to twist it a little bit. Oh, but yeah, you, you mentioned something about, like, being a phone operator and whatnot. Um, is your... Is your employer looking for remote positions, or to fill remote positions? I mean... I don't know if you speak Russian. What? I don't know if you speak Russian. It was a joke. I know. But still. Like, I wasn't actually expecting anyone in chat to be able to, like, offer me a job yeah. at their place, but... Mousy will hire you, and it, it, it'll only cost you minus $5,000 a month. When I first started, I had to pay Mr. Krabs a hundred dollars an hour. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, one thing has been inserted. Mousy, not on stream. It's okay, I I'm a professional. Apparently, I just have to insert them, uh, a special, like, I have to do one screw before the other, or else the first one that I'm trying to do now will not fit if I do the second one first, which is uh -huh. really weird. Keep, keep talking. Uh-huh. Go ahead. No, but that makes sense, right? <laughs> it was just a lot of the, a lot of the, you were like, oh yeah, I have to insert this and the first screw and I'm like, okay, go on. So basically, <laughs> Just keep, leg, digging deep, keep digging the hole deeper. Like, Each leg has two screws I need to insert. Yes. Yes. But if I put the one closer to the end in first, then the second one won't go in for some reason. I'm just being an asshole. Oh, I know. I just find that really weird because you assume that it's they're the same, but apparently they're not. I don't know. Also, hello everybody, Mousy's building a chair! Yes. A pretty pink and a white chair. There has not been any new messages, sadly. Because yeah. everyone hates Mousy. I mean, honestly deserved, but... Now I need food. I'm getting hungry. Throw something. No, I'm in the middle of a of a dungeon, and if anything, I'll uh, probably just heat up some chicken nuggets. Fair. Yeah, no, I think that this one leg, the hole is just not aligned properly. Fun. What is with Mousy and having horrible, horrible luck? I'm gonna try to force it. <sighs> oh, hey, that actually worked! Uh, nice. Not easily, but it did work. Fair enough. See, guys? It's like Daddy always said. If it don't fit, you make it fit. <laughs> My god. Also, I will say, the Ice Temple music is actually really calming. It is. 
Two more legs to go. Chair, apparently. Yeah, putting putting the legs on, putting the canister in, yeah. attaching the attaching the the back, attaching the arms, and then putting the two pieces together. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I like to get the. Uh the fabric one, because they have the, uh, it's not a, I mean, it, it is a solid back, but it's like, the breathable fabric where there's like, tiny holes like, it's like mesh. Yeah. That was a requirement in Texas because of how hot it got. And sitting on, with your back on leather is not a fun time. I can imagine. Oh no, I was, I was like moving my leg that was falling asleep and it just hurt a little bit. Uh, <laughs> so I crone. Alright, then not beautiful. Pinky. Oh my said god, groaned. dropping the Allen wrench. Anyway. I wish I came with mini screwdrivers instead. It would be so much easier. Yeah. I really don't understand why there are so many different types of screws. Me either. As far as like the shapes and all that. Like, why why did we need Phillips head, flat head, Allen wrench? Star. Know. Like why? I put the wheels on. Like, not gonna lie, I think flathead screws are probably, like, the best. Uh oh? They don't get... they don't get stripped. Well, they can, but it's a lot more difficult. Flathead? Yeah. It's... yeah. Uh, okay, can we, like, move to the center? Uh, the... Uh, no, Mousy's new chair came in. Yes. So now she's putting the new one together. I any longer because I showed Enigma a picture and it is literally barely a chair anymore. Yeah, I mean putting the new chair together could have waited till after stream, but we none of us really give a shit. <laughs> yeah. If you if you wanted to put it together, now. It won't take that long. No. Put the thingy in the hole. I like where this is going. <laughs> So, what side? Air rod facing up. Okay. Step three is like the same as step one and two combined. Tighten four screws, M6 X 35 millimeters. Hexagon wrench 11. Why do they have to mark the hexagon wrench? There's only one. I guess just so that way, like, people can have a checklist of make sure that everything is in, in the, uh, is in the packaging. Yeah, that's fair. You know what? I have a, screw, a screwdriver. 
Do I have hexagon? I do. Is it large? Well, welcome back, Pikmin. Yeah, welcome back, Pikmin. It, like, only just occurred to me that you had said you were going to lurk for a while. I guess so. But how are you, Pikmin? How goes your heart? This one is hexagonal, but now it's too big. They're adjustable. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to go. I assume it is. I have no idea. Because I don't know what the chair you got looks like. <laughs> Other than pink. Nice. Okay. I mean, one arm rest. Yeah. Ugh. Also, listening to this music on repeat for the last, like, X number of minutes, does it not sound like a combination of the Water Temple and the Spirit Temple lately? I can see that. I mean, it it makes sense, at least for the water temple, in that ice is just really cold water. Yeah. <laughs> it's like frozen water. And I guess it also makes sense with the with the spirit temple because generally, when like a people 
think that a ghost flew through them, or in movies, when a ghost flies through a character, they say they f feel a chill. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. longer now guys <laughs> nice I'm halfway done according to the number of steps Understandable. They are both kind of loose. Why? These are the right screws, yes? I would hope so. 35 millimeters. Yeah, those are the right ones. Oh, I know what I'll do after, or once I'm done collecting these tombstones and I'm done playing Final Fantasy XIV for the day, or at least for now. Oh. I'll order. I'll pre-order Dawn Trail. Yes. Because <laughs> I forgot to do that. I'll pre-order Dawn Trail, I'll eat, and then maybe I'll work on programming. I don't know. Well, I'll probably eat after stream, so that way y'all don't hear me chewing. I mean, you could always mute your mic while you eat. Okay, now it's yeah, loose but... again. What? I'm thinking that maybe it's supposed to be. I can mute my mic, but then it's going to be annoying conversing with you. <laughs> it's not For stream. Right. I just mean having to, like, unmute and mute my mic. I don't like doing that. Yeah, I know. Okay. Step four. After step four. Oh, wait, uh... 
Harry fix the bottom of armrest to the back of the cushion. Oh, so the armrest affix both to the seat cushion and to the, uh, the actual backrest. Yes. That would probably be why they were a little bit loose. Yes. Person. Yeah. But I know even if Seaster was here, she probably wouldn't be much help. <laughs> no fault of her own. No. But it's kind of a small room. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's half of it done. Nice. The other half will be easier if I don't need to wind anything up. <laughs> Never mind, I can't find the hole. <laughs> I need my help. <laughs> Why do you think I would be any good at that? I don't know. Okay. For the memes. <laughs> Okay. Finish your Gaia 7 challenge run? Uh, ch uh, you mean Disgaea 1 challenge? I thought you were doing a Disgaea 7 one as well. I was playing through Disgaea 7 and I beat the game. You ever beat the post game? No. Damn. I, was, I got so tired of 7. Oh? But with the. I almost said Dynamax. Uh, with the jumpification and all of that, I mean, it's there's just so much. Thing. Oh, I know. Yeah, I don't like the but I was just. And I also don't like the hell mode. Same. Like at that at the point I was at, it was literally just oh, like power leveling. Yeah. I just got bored of it. And I really was not having fun with the Disgaea one challenge. Not as much as I thought I was going to. Yeah. Step five. Fix base plate seven to the bottom of the seat cushion too. Tighten the screws with a hexagonal wrench firmly. Caution. It says there, but there's a space between the first E and the and the and the R. <laughs> <laughs> the re is a, a re. The 
there was a front, either, there's a front letter print on the front of the base, wow, there's also a space between the L and, and E in letter and the L and A in plate, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Front. Ancient that I haven't had me put the headrest on yet. Weird. So I heard at work uh, earlier this week, I heard a song that sampled uh, Never Gonna Give You Up. Oh, God. Like, it used the, like, the background music or the instrumental parts of it mm -hmm. and just changed and just obviously had, it was its own song, but I'm, yeah. like, I hear the music and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. This is one of the situations where we have to put them all in and then tighten them all evenly or else it just doesn't fit. Yeah, I hate that. I feel like that's not really an intentional thing, though. No, I know. It's just annoying. It is. around that if you just do it in like an X formation. Yeah. Oh, sorry, in a Twitter formation. <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk thinks he's so cool, but he is the actual definition of weave trash. Yep. <laughs> yep, it's... Uh, I don't know. I... I can't wait for him to be, no longer be relevant. Well, as long as he's alive, his fucking I know, I know what I said. I know what I said, Mousy. <laughs> Last step. Pick up the step to the air rod and footstool. Insert the air rod into step five base plate. There's a hole in the middle. No. Really? Didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, it, it literally never says when or how to install the, the headrest. Oh, it did. I just missed it. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. That I missed it? Yeah. Because I'm so smart. <laughs> I 
need to back up a bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm just trying to like like while I'm playing Final Fantasy, I'm trying to think of how I was um or how I plan to try and code the tower defense stuffs, uh... and like what to do with um in terms of like temporary art, uh, art assets and whatnot. Cause like I'll probably just you know what actually I know how I'll do this. Uh oh. Can you? No. Can you send me when you're done with the chair? Um. The graphic for Mousy Smart. Yep. Cause I'll just use that as like the Mousy Tower. <laughs> I just need something. I, it doesn't really matter which. Alright, I'll send you the fucking 28 by 28 pixel version. Okay. Again, like, that's fine. I just need something for... Because I want to figure out how to... How to rotate images in Game Maker. Uh... So that way... So I want it to, uh... Track where the closest enemy is. Yeah. The chair uh, is completed. Nice. Because uh, I I know in Blitz Basic, the one of the other coding languages I know, you were able to rotate images, but it slowed down the engine so much it was your it was not usable. Uh, so it was awful. Sounds awful. So you were just better off having different, like, frames for the different directions or whatever you needed. Mm -hmm. But when you want, like, a perfect angle to face whatever target you're going for, it's not practical. Yeah. Anyway, time to take a picture of the chair and post it. Um, nice. In the stream, probably. How long did that take, by the way? Any idea? Nope. I was not timing it. Damn. Sorry. Wasn't thinking about timing it. What do I pay you for? You don't pay me at all. Fuck you. I pay you when you I'd rather you not. It. Fuck you, I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> Wait, how did I not have that? Okay. I got a new triple triad card.
Ooh, new relics in Cult of the Lamb. I don't know, maybe I'll get back to that game. There is the chair. Ooh, that actually looks really comfortable. Definitely more comfortable than my last one. <sighs> Does that come in blue and black? Uh, I mean, I can find out. <laughs> Does that come in Enigma colors? <laughs> uh. No, again, just let me know how that works. Or, like, how that... Uh, perform not performs. It's I I don't know what small. I'm trying to say anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's it's small. I am. Like my shoulder hit the headrest. Oh. But it's still a lot better than what I had. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, before we continue with pain. Time for pain. Um, you needed some more. Smart. And then I'll figure out some something for uh, the quote-unquote enemy. I can send you potato mousey. I I mean I would. Oh, I do also need a uh, a projectile. But I was thinking potato mousey would just be another tower. I mean, just for, like, uh... Oh, yeah, true. Just for now. I also made my own version of S'more, if you want that as well. Sure. Once this one's done, it is called Learn. L-E-R-N. You know what? Learn will will be the enemy, because Learn is the enemy of S'more. And then I'm also sending Potato mm. Mousey. Alright. Thank you. Uh-huh. Learn. <laughs> you know, maybe, if anything, maybe I'll just crop out the hat and use that as uh, the enemy. Or I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure it out, but I'll use those three One in some way, other. shape, or form. Yeah, I'll use them in some way, shape, or form. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right, so this is going to take a while to get used to this chair. It's not super comfortable, mostly because, again, it's, it's small. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, that thing on the front of the chair, is that to like loosen how easily the chair goes back and forth? The thing on the front, what are you what do you mean? Like a little thing that you can twist. No, I just don't see anything on the front, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, like under the chair on the front part where the uh cylinder is. Oh, I don't know, maybe? Oh, I thought it was, like, for all chairs sort of thing. I mean, you could look in the instruction manual. There is no instruction manual. Oh. It only came with a single piece of paper telling me how to put it together. You can fuck around and find out. I could. Save an edge. Notice, this is a single cool. chair, so please do not seat two or more persons. Okay. <laughs> Does it really say that? That's amazing. That's really funny. I have the blue fire. I don't think I need anything else. On my C button. Oh yeah, are you able to post the picture of the chair I sent you in the general chat? Sure. Also, chair I now needs a name. Okay. Don't hurt me! Oh, cool, it didn't hurt me. Oh my god, I'm about to get frozen. Nope! 
That only did half a heart of damage. I mean, that's good, at least. You didn't die. I'm making an exception. Oh? It's still on screen? No, it's not. It probably was when he sent it. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna cast a fairy it. just so that I can use it right away. I think that should be okay. allowed. I can't keep a fairy in a bottle. Yeah, it, I mean, if you were catching it because it was stuck in a wall and you didn't want it to disappear. You were catching it to use it, not to... Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> a little bit spoopy. Yeah. The jump flash does two damage. Or two hearts, rather. Yes. Okay. Let go. Let the fuck go, Link! I love how he can barely walk, but he can roll. Yep. Or backflip. Yeah. We've made progress. Yes. Or if the young kids say progress. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. <laughs> that made me think of how many times you have to teach you this lesson, old man. I love the young folk. <laughs> Remember that one? Yeah. Help! He's still gonna kick my butt! <laughs> also, that show- that episode showed that Mrs. Puff is a terrible teacher. Yeah. To be fair, SpongeBob deserved it for capturing flats in a previous episode in a net. I thought that was a later episode. With the aliens? Yeah, wasn't it? I don't think so. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Where's the closest cow? Uh. I want to have on top of Death Mountain. <laughs> I think so. That's not too bad. To or. To. And then I can always just like use the song. To or in Kakariko. Is there one in Kakariko? In Impa's oh, house. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I think the cow on Death Mountain is closer. It's like right next to Goron City. Yeah. Yeah, it's really just a matter of how you get there. Yeah. Also, if the Kokiri are technically immortal, how old do you think they are? Uh. I don't know. I would probably need to look into uh, lore and timeline shenanigans. Fair. <clears throat> we at least know that all the... Well, that at least Mido and Saria saw Link and his mother come to the Kokiri Fort. Yes. They are at least age. <laughs> yes. But no, it's really it really depends on how old the Deku tree would be. I think he says at one point, doesn't he?
How old is the Great Deku Tree in Ocarina of Time? At least a hundred years old. Thanks. That is such a help. <laughs> um, but no, I just mean like because the Kokiri come from the Deku Tree. Correct. What? Right. Okay, so yeah, the thing on the on the thing that I'll talk about is to loosen the thing. Okay. But we know that when the Deku Tree died, a new one popped out. So they could be even older than this iteration. Yes, but also the new Deku Tree basically turned them into Koroks. Or they turned into Koroks with the new Deku Tree. No, I mean the Deku Tree in Ocarina of Time. No, 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 I know. But I'm saying with the new... They turned into Koroks between Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker, oh, which no, is but... when the new Deku Tree sprouted. Right. But what I'm saying is, if this one died and sprouted a new Deku Tree, this Deku Tree was probably a sprout from a dead Deku Tree as well, so it could have been from the one before the one in Ocarina of Time, too. Oh, yeah. I, I See, with them changing form between Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker... I was also kind of assuming that uh, each Deku Tree gives them a different thing. And I was thinking that... Do you know what I still don't uh, have, Enigma? Uh, the arrows. Nope. I don't know. I still don't have fucking Din Fire. Oh. Yeah, At that, least that those is also... are easy enough to get. Okay, I was like, did I ever go back there? But I did. <laughs> so at least I can sit a little bit slumped in this chair and still use the headrest. Yeah, I also need to put the my microphone arm back on my desk. Oh? Instead of just having, like, the, the microphone sitting on my desk itself, I would rather have it on the, uh, arm. Uh, yeah. Mine's on the arm. Because that... Because that'll, A, give me a little bit more space on my desk, and B, also allow me to m maneuver it a little bit easier. Yeah. Let's go get Din's fire. Let's go set Din on fire. <clears throat> so I'm curious about something. Mm-hmm. So, in Majora's Mask, if you shoot ice arrows at the water, it yes. freezes. Yes. Number one, does that work in this game? I don't know. If, uh, maybe? I think if you hit enemies with ice arrows. That was my second question. Number two, if you hit Morpho with an ice arrow, does it just instantly die? Why don't we find out? Because I can't get to the desert. Oh, yes, I can! But I don't have all the items I would need. <clears throat> I was gonna say, I was gonna say, aren't the ice arrows just in Garuda training grounds? <laughs> Well, yeah, but I need all the different dungeon items to get there. Right. Elon can get you in the desert. Well, yeah, but again, I don't have all the items I need for the training ground. This is not the normal Gerudo training ground. This is Advanced Gerudo <laughs> Training Grounds. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> B 
Yeah, I think the chair took me about 40-ish minutes. Alright. So longer than I thought. But not terribly long. Yeah. Okay, what we what class should I upgrade my weapon for next? Dancer. In this game. Dancer? Okay. Now she's new, but small. Sure. It's probably like average size. I am just not average size. <laughs> it's, I, I don't know, it's just being funny. Yeah, I know. It is very pink. <laughs> A lot more so than I thought. Do I not have the blare of fire? Guess not. Didn't you say you forgot to go get it? The Probably. warp song? <laughs> Unless you were talking about a different warp song at the time. No, that was the one. I just forgot. You forgot that you forgot? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I could all just go to the desert and get the, uh... The, 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 the... You know, I may I'll do that once I get the Bolero of Fire. I'll go grab okay. the, uh... Gauntlet, that's the word. I kept wanting to call him Fisty Cuffs. <laughs> that is absolutely not the right term. Nope. Well, I guess it works because they're they're for your fist and they're like cufflinks or they're fisty cuffs. Sure. Don't question mousy logic because it might break mousy's brain. <laughs> yes. Um, Enderville knives is rogue. Yeah, I still have not unlocked the rogue. Oh, not do the hard part and yeet over him again. Damn. Uh, okay, at least it's funnier this time. Yes. Shut up! Mm, shut up! <laughs> I love that. Alright, answer it is. God, there's me a, a new comedian. Weapon. Can't think of his name. It's Troy something. Um, okay. Where whenever someone interrupts him, he just like, shut the fuck up! <laughs> and it's just funny. <clears throat> I don't want to talk to Saria. Because I'm helping you save our rule, bitch! <laughs> yes, I am! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm trying to go down! Thank you. I, I can't get over Mido because I played the song and it didn't work. Am I trapped? <laughs> Have I been trapped by a small child? I mean, if... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, if it doesn't work, just... Fail... Th uh, fail the lost... The Lost Woods, oh, and yeah. then come back you, through. Yeah. I thought it started you back where you went in, but you're right. <clears throat> I still hate Gorons, guys. Mou Mousy's racist against Gorons. I will admit to that. <laughs> they don't deserve to breathe the same air as everyone else. <laughs> 
All right, Manderville Chakram's obtained. Nice. Are they any good? They're better than what I have now. How much do they cost? Uh, lots of time. Bitch, it's so hot in here! I know. Lots of time and energy and leveling up. Or I'm not leveling. Progressing through the game and leveling up to level 90, Dancer. Okay, but how many tombstones? Oh, it's level 90? Yeah. Damn. It's level 90. It's 1,500 tombstones of... causality. For the first tier, and then 1500 for every tier after to upgrade it. In Kansas, if I ruled, there's exactly one Goron in the game, and you don't even need to talk to him from the service purpose. What's his purpose? He passes butter. Where did my audio go? I don't know. I was wondering the same thing. Guys, I'm scared. <laughs> Shopkeeper? Cool. I like my answer better. I'm gonna. Go on a different file, save state, and then reload. Okay. Current save state. Let's put it on two. There we go. That was strange. That really was. It was eerie. Yes. You know what else is eerie? Uh, the lake. Those two things on the side of your head. Did I just hear you fade palm? Kind of. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I like my answer though too. Yes. <clears throat> I should go visit Lake Erie. Yeah, I still only have the tone stones of poetic. When do I start getting the other ones, though? Um, I'm assuming when you hit end game. <laughs> okay. You only because get they're end game until then. What? You only get tone stones of poetics until end game. That, yeah, you you only need tone stones of poetics. Fair. For any gear that you get or that you want. Um What the fuck? <laughs> you keep on spamming that button. <laughs> he just does that. That is so weird. It is. Um but the tombstones of causality at the moment are just to buy the relic weapons and upgrade them. Mm -hmm. And the tombstones of whatever the other one comedy, I think. Are to buy the other set, uh, the other bit of endgame gear. Fair. Once Dawn Trail drops, I think both of those will drop down to Tombstones of Poetic level, but I I'm not a hundred percent on that. Oh, another thing that uh, that video that I saw of what people want in of what this guy wants in Dawn Trail. Yeah. Is, um... Apparently, on the tombstones that aren't poetic, you have a limit of only getting 2,000 a day, and he said that... Or 200 a day. And he said that needs to be changed. It's not a limit of 200 a day. It's a limit of 450 a week. Ah, but yeah. He said it takes literal weeks or months to save up for one thing. That they do, I, that is on purpose. Why? So that no one's running around with end game gear within like two minutes of reaching level ninety. So that way you can. T so that way there's a reason for you to keep coming back and doing end game content. I mean, that's um, fair. And continue to play the game. Yeah, that makes. While sense. there's nothing, while there's nothing else for you to do. Because like. <clears throat> Ignoring the deep dungeons and the variant dungeons, right? Mm -hmm. And the, like, one or two other things I've yet to complete. Most of those, I have no reason to go and complete them. Yeah. You know, like, there's nothing for, for me with the island until they 
hopefully use that as the housing system. Um, so there's no reason for me to really complete the island. There's no reason for me to do... What is it? Like Eure uh, Eureka? And if there's like a few other instance stuffs that were for relic weapons at the time, I think. Um, the Palace of the Dead and the, the Deep Dungeons at this point now are just for me to have something to do. Um, but as far as actual progression, there's nothing for me to do except collect the tombstones and that upgrade my bad. gear. These guys are just so hard to hit. Yes. Okay, also not gonna lie, the Gerudo were kind of the inspiration for Petra. <laughs> mm -hmm. I could tell. <laughs> They're just cool. And whoever disagrees with me is a liar. Gerudo Desert is the best song in any Zelda game. At least it's the catchiest. Digital Collector's Edition gets me the extra stuff, I believe. It gets it to you right away, too. Yeah, like the minion and all that? And the earrings, yeah. Yeah. Well, I just want the minion, really. I don't know about the Garnet minion. I don't know when that's supposed to come. Uh, you know what? Let me find out. Pre-order Dawn Trails to receive a number of bonuses. You also get Ark. Uh, oh, the, what is the Digital Collector's Edition? Oh yeah. It gives yeah, the mount, the garnet minion, and the chocobo brush. No! Fuck you! God. Hmm? I was fighting her, she had one hit left, and as I swung, Link hit the loading zone. Oh, I thought you died. No. So at least it, at least you didn't die. Yeah, so you get it all right away. Um, well, I probably don't get the Chocobo Rush right away, but, but the, the, you do need the Digital Collector's Edition for the Garnet Minion. Yeah, and that's why no, I'm getting the, the okay. I, I want the Collector's Edition for the Garnet Minion and for the Chocobo Brush, because I plan on using Pictomancer. Yeah, and it's only, it's only $60, yeah. as opposed to... 214 well, I was going to look at the, um, just the regular pre-order. Oh, I think it's 40 for the regular pre-order. 30 or 40? I mean, considering that each expansion is basically its own Final Fantasy game. Yeah. With a whole bunch of content, I'm not against spending 60 bucks for the extra stuff, especially because, like, unique mounts like that are about $20, $25 on the online store anyway. Yeah. And the one transforms. Mmm. Neat. It can either be an airship, or it can be a... a I almost said a butt chug. <laughs> <laughs> or it can be a robot. Okay. I think I missed one of these again. I think this is the last one. Yep, I missed one again. 
God damn it. <laughs> but yeah, so the Gerudo, I was counting how many hits. They have twice the health of the Stolfos. Oh. Stolfos take five hits, these guys take ten. Ah. Because other than that, they're pretty much just the same enemy. Yeah. Okay. Just gotta find the last one now. Nice. Okay, almost there. I don't. Why do I need to confirm? I need to find pot so I can heal. Sign in, sure. Billing address. Blah 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 blah. blah. I forget where the last one is now. Isn't it like right? Here. Mm -hmm. No, it is not. This is the one I already did. Oh, no, it's not. This is the right one. Nice. So I, I hate the fact that Link is too tall, so when he does a vertical slash, he can't hit the pots. <laughs> God damn it, I need to go get my wallet. Nice, I double jump flashed by accident. <laughs> and it killed her. Okay. <clears throat> now it's time to go into the desert. On a horse with only one name. Damn. <laughs> I had to see if that worked. It does not. <sighs> Guys, I'm an idiot. No, I am smart, yes. I'll wait for Enigma to get back to explain. I am back. I am back. I am smart, so what Enigma. Ha what happened? I was literally just now years old when I found out that those are lips and not a giant smile. What's the difference? I thought oh, it was teeth. you mean like teeth. Like the happy mask salesman. Yeah. Because they look like they're just big, teethy smile from from afar. That one does, yeah. That's just an unfortunate... That's just really, like, a poor choice of color it for is. the lipstick. Oh, wait. It's, like, impossible to get through here at night, almost. I'm gonna try any... Oh, God! 
Oh god. I almost just died. Yeah. So apparently falling into the wasteland. No! Welcome to Stream Reeve, I see you're finally up. How you doing? My new chair came in. Uh, but yeah, apparently falling into the quicksand does an entire heart of damage. Ah. Mm -hmm. yeah, Reeve, right? my new chair came in and I built it on stream. Yep. Kind of. At 10, but then I saw you already started streaming, so I went back to sleep. I wasn't streaming at 10. Started at, like, noon. Well, may well maybe 10 Reeves time? Reeves is in Eastern time. Oh. Right. Then I don't oh, know. I need the long shot for this. I've heard someone say you don't actually need the long shot, though. But you absolutely do. Yeah. Damn. I mean, at least I have the carpenter saved. That'll save some time in the future. <clears throat> uh-huh. Give me a break? No. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Yep. <clears throat> Now, I wonder if it's worth trying to get... No, it's actually not. I was thinking if it's worth it trying to get the upgrade for, um... For the arrows, but it's really not. <laughs> you don't need more than 30 at a time. And even if you do, the game will provide... Where am I going? I can warp. Alright, what's the area of water? There we go. Yeah, Reeve, my new I'm sitting in my new chair and it's small, but it's comfortable. It's actually not that small. It's only the backrest that's short. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing the spirit temple before. No, I can't do that because I need the hammer. Damn. <laughs> you tried. Yeah. Also, in your canon in Enigma, what comes first, shadow temple or spirit temple? As far as what dungeon I usually do first. Yeah. Like, which one do you Shadow. think you're supposed to do first? Shadow. That is fair. I usually did Shadow first, too. But I like saving the best for last. <laughs> I only think it's supposed to be the Shadow because the hover boots. <laughs> While not necessary for the... To get to the Spirit Temple, I do think that they expect you to have. Bongo Bongo, my beloved. I hate Bongo Bongo. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? I'm going down. Going down, down, and I'm early around. I like that song. <laughs> okay, it's sad that I've gotten every item in this game so far, except for the hover boots. I haven't got the mirror shield that one time. That I died to yeah. fucking... I almost said Impa. It's not Impa. It's no Noboru. Uh-huh. Oh god, I just remembered what's waiting for me in this dungeon. All of the Stalfos. Also, what the fuck? Is hmm? that not the symbol for the spirit temple? Just noticed that. <laughs> Let's find out. Well, I mean, it is the symbol for the Fair Temple. No, I know, but I mean, like, I'm gonna. I wanna look at it. 
Yeah, well, it, it's sideways, but yeah. Interesting. I never noticed that. Also, this music is oh, very shit. similar to the Spirit Temple, except not yeah. as cool. I do think that that's just a coincidence. Almost. Definitely. Like, I think... <laughs> yeah. I think they're like, oh, this looks cool. And then they got to the Spirit Medallion, and they're like, oh, this looks cool. Oh, this looks cool, draws a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Mm, I forgot about having to use Din's fire a billion times in this dungeon. Mm hmm. Alright, but Dawn Trail has been ordered. Nice. I don't think I even need to go into that room. I believe all it is is the map. Oh, but I believe it... No? Yeah, I don't think I need to go in there. <laughs> this is the one that I need to go in. I may only have to fight three Stalfos instead of six. I want to play a game. Honkai Star Rail or Genshin? Go back to sleep. <laughs> You should play a good game, like Zelda. Yeah. Or giving well, Mouthy your credit card information. You get to fight a secret boss if you put in your your CVC code. Mm-hmm. Or whatever it's called. And can confirm. Hey, Reeve, would you fuck the little folks? I, I only breath the wild. Is that the only one you've played? Or have you played other ones? Why did I open that? I didn't need it. <laughs> See, I can get to avoid the top room. That's the only one you've ever played? What the fuck, Reeve? I thought we were friends. <laughs> Can't believe you've lied to me this whole time. I thought I could trust you. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. Now I can go to the spirit temple. Yay. At least for the child section. Yeah. Ow. You know what? Now I can go get the fire arrows. You know what? That'll be actually helpful, even for this dungeon. <clears throat> okay, so we need it to be day. Or morning. That is bomb. It'd be cool if you could get ice arrows by shooting the moon when it's rising. That would. And then the Gerudo arrows are like lightning. <laughs> yeah, that would honestly be pretty cool. Also, why the fuck are deserts associated with lightning? Are you from with like what? Why are deserts in games associated with lightning? I don't know. My only thought is, like, sand can do a lot of weird shit with static electricity, maybe? I Honestly, I have no idea. I only said lightning because, like, that's one of the other typical elements. <laughs> yeah. Because in Tears of the Kingdom, um, yes. and Breath of the Wild, the power is lightning. Mm-hmm. Fire arrows. Here's the other thing. Like, now I'm so close to the Gerudo Valley, I kind of just want to go there now. And get that taken care of. Oh my god. 
there are so many now games now that are like here's a typical casino game let's make it a roguelike oh yeah there's one for blackjack there's one for uh poker there's one for roulette that i just found Is there one for slots? <laughs> uh, yeah, actually. Uh, that sounds Luck terrible. Luck be a landlord. Luck be a landlord. Oh, I've, I've actually heard of that one. <laughs> oh, Reeve, did you see the picture of my new chair on the Discord? How did you come from that direction? There's literally nothing over there. Don't question it. <laughs> There's a reason why I always call you dumbass. <laughs> Not you, the horse. <laughs> yes. Having an opponent is so useful. Yeah, so you have to admit that this is really great music. Mm hmm. This is peak Zelda music. Yes, I, I agree there. I think this is the best Zelda music. My favorite is Midna's Lament. But I think the greatest gaming soundtrack is Wind Waker. Like, there is not a bad track on that entire... in that entire game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's just a really good game. It is. It's just there, in the original, there was a lot of sailing yeah. and it took forever the switch sale helped though in the hd yep isn't it 200 for the bomb two salesman i think so oh do i need the hover boots i think yep. i do damn i've honestly never spoken to him i just knew he was here that is fair. Also, this is honestly the worst part of the game. <laughs> yeah. Like, it hurts my eyes. It does. It's annoying. There you go. Yay! <clears throat> I'm gonna go downstairs because I want to see if I can find some magic. Oh, right! I can also grab the uh, double magic, too. Yes. Wait, no, that's in Death Mountain. This one is Nehru's okay. Love. Oh. I mean, you can go grab both. Yeah, but Nehru's Love is against the rules of the challenge. Using it is against the rules of the challenge. True, but why would I get it if I can't use it? <laughs> Completion? I don't know. <laughs> So if you just keep on doing this, you don't use any magic. Yep. I don't really care about using magic, though. It's not like I need it right now.
<clears throat> Ow. Oh, what if I target you and then turn it off? Damn. <laughs> it you was worth tried. a shot. Hmm? I said you tried. Yes. I hate levers. They're the worst fucking enemy. Except for the Goron. But they're not really enemies. They're just enemies to mount. Yes. Yeah, levers fucking suck. Because they, they never stop spawning. Yeah, but if you kill ten of them, you get a giant reaver. Reaver? Lever. Like with the stall children. Did you know that? I did. And what's worse is they're faster than you. Yeah. Uh... And you're safe. Yeah. Thankfully, they only do half a heart of damage. Yay! I just realized it's 4 o'clock. Yeah, I started late today. <laughs> what time do you need to go? No, I was about to say, it's, it's usually we just start gathering at like 6, 6.30. Okay. So, I should find out if there's a plan. <laughs> okay. I'll probably go another hour and a half or so. <clears throat> I mean, the main thing is I just need to put on pants if we're gathering. Pants are for squares! Like Spongebob. Patrick does wear pants. Good word doesn't wear pants. So here's a thought for you. What if what if Squidward only has three feet? God. That took me a second. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? He has four, clearly. Oh <laughs> I forgot what the desert song is. <laughs> <clears throat> Something I just thought of though that's gonna cause me so much fucking torment mm -hmm. is in Majora's Mask. I'm gonna have to play fucking Song of The Elegy of Emptiness so many fucking times. Yep. But I think there's a setting for that where you can make it so that you only have to play it a couple times. Oh? Yeah, like, if you're near a switch that can use it or something, it, like, spawns the one you need, and then if you go near another one, you just open your ocarina and it plays it automatically, kind of like the Scarecrow song. Okay. I like that. Right, you can't hurt these guys with your normal sword, can you? No, my shield! God damn it. I don't think I needed it. Just sucks. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. He got such a pain in the ass to kill his child, Link. No, 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 no! Oh my god! Holy shit! 
fact that I almost died? Yes. Oh my, this guy will not get hit. No, drop the bomb! I'm gonna equip my other shield so I can just hit the shield button to drop the bomb because I keep doing that and it's not working. Mm hmm. <clears throat> All I could think of was they set us up the bomb. Of what? It was a really bad translation in a really old game. They set us up the bomb. Uh-huh. <laughs> and what is it, it from, do you know? I don't remember. I think I can nut on these guys. Um... And then maybe use the stick? Oh, it yeah. seems like it's in. The, uh, it seems like Counter Strike Global Offense. No. Oh no, so that features the phrase. Never mind. Zero wing. Oh. I still think the best thing is all your base are belong to us in uh, yes. uh, that one game that I can't think of what it is. Um. <clears throat> what is this? Oh, dungeon map. Cool. Okay, at least these guys don't respawn. Mm -hmm. I think I need to go out. Because there's a chest, and I think it has bomb juice in it. Because I need one of those. Makes sense. You got bomb juice. <clears throat> I remember when Reeve told me, uh, donated, like, he said he would donate ten bucks if I did bomb to bowling. Mm -hmm. And I said, fine, but if I do it first time, you owe me another five. He ended up owing me fifteen dollars. <laughs> yep. Does this work with Gibdos? <clears throat> yes, it does. Good to know. Not that I ever have that song in a point where I'm facing Gibdos, but... <laughs> well, yeah, because you only do randomizers now. Because the... I like I, I do need to play through Master Quest, but otherwise the base game is just so boring. It kind of is. Yay! Oh, that was one of the pointless ones. Damn. Oh. <clears throat> and I only need to do Master Quest so that way we can have Master Quest dungeons randomized into the randomizer. <laughs> yeah. I think I missed. That sucks. No, I did not. That's good. I missed. That sucks. I didn't miss. <laughs> <laughs> the many emotions of Mousy. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm gonna have to take these guys out really quickly. Mm hmm. <clears throat> oh, this room. Hey, 
target him, you can just make him walk off the edge sometimes. Yep. I remember that. I think you showed it off on in one of these runs. I probably did. Hello? Please. Sir oh my god. Wait, is it doing less damage to me because I'm a child? No way. Hit me. Hit me. I I would not tempt fate, now see. Hit me! Yeah, okay. N now that I did take a hit from the fire, with probably a quarter heart. Okay. Fall so off that's me like, chat, chat, back me up here. <laughs> Fall! Thank you! Jesus! <laughs> he didn't want to die today. <laughs> Even though he's already dead. have a key by doing all that. Probably? Did I miss a chest? I don't think so. <clears throat> I Oh, it's the other side. Oh no, that's that's Dolling. What? Ow, you whore! Not for sure. Oh, I think I have to kill all the enemies in this room. No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. Nice knees. Yep, I had to kill all the enemies. Okay. Ugh. Hello? Oh, wrong side. Mm. There we go. I about to say, There's what was the, the whole fucking point of this if there was no key? So I don't think we're gathering later. <laughs> Damn. Well then after the stream, do you wanna play some Final Fantasy? Uh I would like to take a few minutes to at least try and get some coding done, but probably not more than ten minutes of coding. Okay. But yes. Okay. Yeah, no, one person was like, I, I have to do some cleaning, so I'm going to have to pass, and that usually indicates that no one else will show up, so... Are they, like, the leader of the group? It's more just, like, if they pass, then, like, no, there's not really much to do. Uh... It's like, if we, were playing D if we were playing D&D, &D, then they'd be running... And they have most of, like, the party games that we typically play, so. Uh... I am missing a key. I get stuck here every time, I swear. <laughs> Damn. 
Oh, I know where I'm missing a key. Yeah? Where? In the front room. Oh, uh, yeah. Forgot about that. Well, thankfully, you're not the one doing this challenge. Correct. Wait, all I have to do is kill the like like? <laughs> I don't think that's a key, though. I think it's just bomb chews or bombs or something. Yeah, it's bomb chews. Okay. <clears throat> I guess while we're in the hole, I should equip my stuff. Because I believe there's two chests, two more chests that I can get as a child. Those being? Right in this room. Okay. One of them for hitting. If not visible yet. <laughs> One for hitting this. And the other for hitting the eyeball switch on the other side of this. I want to see, what happens if you, if the chest lands on top of you? Do you Nobody knows. I don't know. <laughs> It'll probably just push you out of the way. It'd be funny if it just did damage, though. It would be. I was on the wrong one! <laughs> Ah. Damn. Now we'll never know. Unless... No, wait. The ones down here spawn. I won't be able to do it from down here. Damn. <laughs> oh, I can't do that yet because it's the five rupees. This one, because I know that this one is not a silver rupee. It is a silver rupee. Well, shit. Get can't fucked. stop being wrong today. <laughs> and that's different that's, from other days now. That's what I was gonna say. But that's normal for Mousy. Yeah. I could use a heart. Me too. <laughs> you have a heart. It's just cold and dead. Like Pluto. I'm now very glad that like like does not respawn. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> so Pluto is a dog and Goofy's a dog. Why does Goofy walk on two legs while Pluto walks on four? Because Goofy's not a dog. Yeah, he is. Goofy's a cow. No? Yes. Mm, Based on a Scottish no. long hair cow. Look it up. <laughs> he, he is a tall anthropomorphic dog. He is not a dog. I am looking at Wikipedia right now. Okay, well, Wikipedia can be wrong sometimes.
species, anthropomorphic dog or dog face. <laughs> The Disney cartoon character Goofy was modeled after a breed of Scottish cow. Modeled after, but in in lore he or in the cartoon he is a dog. Okay, but that would be like saying I modeled this bitch off of a person, but they're actually a plankton. <laughs> you mean like plankton? <laughs> yes. Is ah. plankton a, a a person? Yeah, but. Plankton don't usually have arms or legs. I mean, as far as you know. No wonder they have computer wise that they built. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but dogs also don't have arms or legs, at least in the, not the ones I bought. <laughs> Now, I always saw Goofy as a cow more than a dog, mostly because his wife, girlfriend is a cow, and so is his father. Because they have horns. Damn it, I said I didn't want to link up skirt today, and we got one anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah, Clarabelle Cow. Uh, quite obviously a cow. Um. Are you sure it might be a dog? <laughs> <laughs> Goofy's father. Goofy's father is the father of Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh huh. Um. No, the father doesn't say, er, the article about the father doesn't say anything about him being a cow. I mean, have you seen a picture of his father? Yes, it looks like, just like Goofy. Huh. <clears throat> I don't know then. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, just about everything I've seen about Goofy has him as a dog. They're all wrong. I forget which one of these is the one I need, but I think it's this one. But oh well. Yeah. God, I forgot there's a chest in here too, I think, that I need with a key. I just hate the fire, dude. Fire bubbles are so annoying and hard to kill. Wait, how do you kill them? The what? Fire bubbles. Uh, I think you... Either shoot them with some sort of ranged weapon, or let them hit the Hylian shield, knocking the fire off. Right, I forgot about that part. Yeah. Can I go through here without like, getting hit? Okay. Oh, th this early version of Goofy was named Dippy Dog. D-A-W-G. I mean, fair. God damn it, he went on the other side! So maybe they they uh, created a dog character that just happens to look like a cow that you were talking about. I don't know. Yeah, don't you know. can't kill these guys with the Deku sword, Tokiri sword. Yeah. I'm pretty sure in like some of the really old cartoons, like some of the originals, Goofy had 
tiny horns. Possibly. But I don't know. Not that it really matters yep. that much. It's an anthropomorphic no. animal character <laughs> that no one even yeah. likes. I, th I if I, I was while I was looking at a Wikipedia thing, I think it even said that Walt Disney started to hate the character after a bit. <laughs> He's just or, there. Or at least started to hate the cartoons. Go. Gosh. Ow! Fire hot. <laughs> God, this is the worst room in this place on Master Quest. Yeah, I remember that one being a fan. that I can get all four of these in here at the same time. Yep. He Hello? I can't move. That was weird. That was very weird. Oh, there's five. I thought there were only four. I also thought there were only four. I still get them all in. The last was one that just like killed all the enemies. Yes. Oh wait, one well, I'm not lit anymore. Damn. Well thank you that one that. was pointless anyway. Oh I was gonna say fix that. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it, let's fix that. Damn. No, don't climb! Push! Oh my- Get the fuck down, Link! Okay, so I don't think you can get them all lit. Damn. That's upsetting. Unless... Yeah, there's no way. You can get four of them at max. God damn it. One of these is the one that I need. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's this one, though. It, it was. Hello? What was that, Link? Should be a key, I think. That is not a key. Good observation. <laughs> well, let's hope I don't need a key then, and I'm just thinking wrong. But I'm 99% sure that I need a key. Damn. Uh... Okay, at least the door stays open. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know where the key is. Are you sure? 99.9%. 
I have actually two options where the key would be. Okay. One of them is hitting this. That is not the key, it is the compass. Okay, and where's the other thought? Uh, through that door. In the middle. Okay. I know this game. <laughs> I mean, I fucking played it enough. And now we go kill the Iron Knuckle. So one thing I've always been curious of that I cannot find a definitive answer to. Okay. What is the difference between an Iron Knuckle and a Dark Knight? I don't know. I have to do this fucking puzzle again, though, so that was fun. <gasps> I think it's not a difficult puzzle. There. fight the Iron Knuckle. Good luck. The not Naboru Iron Knuckle. Not Boru. <laughs> yes. Ow. But still, good luck. Thank you. To be fair, this isn't the one that killed me before. That was the adult one. That was actually no Naboru. Okay, I can still. I can still say good luck. Like you, it doesn't matter. Now, well, if you can say good luck, I can say this fight is free. And there I have oh boy. myself. <laughs> We're doomed. Give me heart. Not that I can use it, but thanks, bitch. Now she's doomed, guys. I got... <laughs> Do not say anything! <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> Well, let's not talk about that one, shall we? <laughs> <coughs> oh. 
What did I say, Massey? Do not <laughs> say this is free. But I thought I could do it. <laughs> and then as soon as I was going to say, I got this. Uh, now I'm sad. <coughs> well, that sucks. <laughs> well, guys, if you enjoyed the stream, be sure to leave a like. Join the Discord. Send the mousy money so Mousy can go wallow in Chinese food and McDonald's and other sadness materials. Come come play Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed the stream. Tomorrow is Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah. Next week I'm actually gonna finish this game. Uh huh, sure. But I'll see you guys later. <laughs> well, Sam.